Hey, what is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by a couple of friends of mine. I'm Shrey. And I am Rainer. All right. So, for those that don't know, Rainer is also a representative of Board and Dice who are bringing us today, along with myself and Shrey, we are bringing y'all Takenu, Obelisk of the Sun, designed by Danielle Tassini and David Turtsy, and published by the aforementioned Board and Dice. Now, Board and Dice was also kind enough to sponsor this playthrough, as well as provide us with this review copy that I have sitting in front of me, ready to rock and roll with you guys today. So big thanks to Rainer, Kuba, Iraq, uh, Philip, everybody over at Board and Dice for their support and for all of that. Also, big thanks to all the patrons who help support the show. Without them, this ain't happening. So you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, if that's your thing. I appreciate it. You want to support the show like these guys do. I certainly would appreciate it. You can go to pledgehc.com. So now, Takenu. Now, I first played this, uh, like, the day before the world was ending. <laughs> Pretty much. Right? Uh, I first played this in prototype form at the Gamma Trade Show in February, was it? Right? March? Huh? February? It, March? it was Fe beginning of March. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, the game looks a lot it's better. a year ago. <laughs> Seriously, right? No doubt. And Shrey, you've played this as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe a couple months ago. Yep. All right. So uh, now Rainer is literally the world's expert on Takenu. Um, you've, you, what did you say? How many times you've taught this in the last month or so? What? In the last month and a half, probably 50 times. So. Okay. So instead of me reinventing the wheel, why not let him do it? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let, yeah. let Rainer teach this today. Um, so, uh, if, if, fellas, if you are ready, and yep. if y'all are ready at home, Rainer, the honor is all your, or the floor, if you will, and the honor is all yours. Well, thank you. Four millennia ago, on the eastern bank of the Nile River was laid the foundation of the Temple of Amun-Ra. Over the course of 2,000 years, the temple complex was gradually expanded and became widely known as the most selective places, Ibet Isut, boasting the largest religious building in the world. Today, the site is known as Karnak, located at Luxor in modern-day Egypt. Join ancient pharaohs in creating and growing one of the most impressive sites the, world's, the world has seen, honoring the Egyptian gods Horus, Ra, Hathor, Bastet, Thoth, and Osiris. You must carefully manage the balance of your actions, preparing for the reckoning by the goddess Mott. Tekenu is a dice drafting game in which the players take on the roles of nobles in ancient Egypt as they build both the temple of Amun-Ra and the area that has become Ipet Isut. The central feature of the game board is the obelisk wheel and the six surrounding action areas, each associated with an Egyptian god or goddess. The obelisk wheel itself is likewise divided into six sections, two sunny or light ones, two shaded or gray, and two dark, representing how the obelisk casts its shadow at that particular moment. As the game progresses, the shadow will rotate altering which sections are sunny, shaded, or dark. Dice come in five different colors. There are yellow, brown, white, black, and gray dice. Depending on the color of the die and the position of the obelisk's shadow, each die is considered pure, tainted, or forbidden, changing where the die will be placed on the scales of your player board and thereby affect the balance of your actions when the time comes for Mott's judgment. Um, a way to kind of remember when the dice are to be considered pure, tainted, or forbidden is that dice are pure where they match in brightness. White dice are pure in the sun, while black dice are pure in the dark. Yellow and brown dice, which are neither light nor dark, are pure in the shaded areas, and gray dice are tainted everywhere. 
And there's a handy legend on one side of the obelisk wheel as well as on the player aids. There are five resources in the game as well. There's papyrus, bread, limestone, granite, and gold. Gold is a wild resource and can be used in place of any other resource, papyrus, bread, limestone, or granite. There are also two other types of tokens. There are scribes and faith. Neither scribes nor faith are resources, and we will explain their use later during the teach. The game takes place over 16 rounds. Each round on your turn, you will draft one die that is at the base of the obelisk. You can then choose to perform either the specific god action based on where you drafted the die from, its location around the obelisk, or to produce resources based on the color of the die you drafted. Let's go over each of the six god actions, beginning with Bastet. The Bastet action area is where you can increase the happiness of your people. There is a populist track on the board where you keep track of both the size of your population and their collective happiness. The larger meeple represents the current population, whereas the smaller meeple represents the current happiness. When performing the Bastet action, you will be paying two papyrus to advance your happiness marker a number of spaces equal to the value of the die you drafted. If you drafted a three or four, you will additionally gain one scribe and if you drafted a one or two, you will gain two scribes. The happiness marker can never pass the position of your population marker, but they can be on the same position. And for purposes of most aspects of the game, we're only concerned with the position of your happiness marker. The population marker simply acts as a limit to how high your happiness marker can go. The next action clockwise is the thought god action area. And this is where you can acquire cards. There are three types of cards in the game. The white color cards are blessings, uh, one-time use cards that provide an immediate bonus when used. Blessings enhance the effect of an action that you're taking or allow you to break the rules in some way. Yellow color cards are technologies and they provide um, Ongoing effects, often additional bonuses, such as victory points when performing certain actions. And they might also permanently alter the rules in some way to grant you certain benefits. There are also red color cards, which are decrease. And even though none of them are displayed uh, on the card market at the start of the game, each player will receive two decrees as part of setup. And we will cover those more in detail at that point. Just know that the decrees there are individual end game objectives. Now this thought uh, god action, if you drafted a one or two, you can take one card for free. If you drafted a three or four, you must pay two papyrus and you will take two cards. And if you drafted a five or six, you must pay three papyrus and will take three cards. This is also a good time to highlight something that is true for all the actions, but the thought action is a good uh, example to use. There's no concept in the game of taking a lesser action. You can't draft a five and say, well, I only want two cards, so I'm going to pay just two papyrus. Now, if you drafted a five, you must pay three papyrus, and you will take three cards. If you don't have enough resources or you do not wish to spend all of them, then you must either draft a different color die or take a different action altogether. There are ways for you to manipulate uh, the value of the die, but we will talk about that later when we go over the use of scribes. If you look closely at the board, you will notice that the card marker is separated into different colored sections. The first three card spaces have a yellow band above them. The next four have a red band, and then there's a green and a blue band as well. Those same colors are found on the populace track above. So it starts with yellow, then it goes yellow, red, yellow, red, green, and so forth. The position of your happiness marker determines which cards you have access to. At the beginning of the game, your happiness is in the yellow area, which means you only have access to the yellow cards. As the happiness of your people increases, you will get access to the other areas as well. When 
taking multiple cards, as in when you're drafting a die of a value three or higher, all cards must come from the same colored section. Before taking any card, once per section you have access to, you may spend one papyrus to clear the cards within that section of the card market, immediately refilling them. This is not something that you normally uh, want to do or something that you would do often in the game, but just know that that option is available if you should need it. Otherwise, cards, they refill after you have completed your action and taken all the cards that you were entitled to take. All cards are also public knowledge during the game, except for the decrease. So all cards that you take go face up on the table, except for the decrease that go into your hand. Next up is the Osiris action area. This is where you can construct buildings in the role of either workshops or quarries. There is one district or column for each of the four basic resources. From left to right, we have papyrus workshops, bread workshops, limestone quarries, and granite quarries. The value of the die you draft determines onto which row you must place the building. If, for example, you draft a five, you must play the building onto any empty space along the number five row. Workshops and uh, quarries do not require resources to construct. Instead, the construction and function depends on the hard work of your people, therefore requiring you to decrease your happiness by one. And there's a reminder of that at the top of the action area as well. To construct a building, you take the leftmost building from your player board and you place it onto an empty space in the corresponding row of the Osiris action area. You immediately receive two benefits. First, you receive the resources depicted in the upper left corner of the space where you constructed the building. You also increase the production markers of, on your player board according to the reward depicted on the space itself. Additionally, the first player to construct a building anywhere along the number two row will receive the gold resource that will place there during setup. If we take a closer look at the player board, you will see the four uh, resource tracks. And there's one for each of the four basic resources. And they correspond from left to right to the districts within the Osiris action area. So there's papyrus, bread, limestone, and granite. And we will talk uh, later about what use these, uh, these serve, but this is where you increase those production tracks. As you may also have noticed, performing the action with a higher value die will result in greater immediate benefits, both in terms of initial resources received, as well as the production increase. We will talk later about the added value of the lower numbered rows when we discuss scoring. The next clockwise action area is dedicated to the god Horus, and this is where you can build statues. All statues, they require some amount of granite to construct. The costs of these statues are depicted uh, below the statue spaces on your player board. And as with buildings, you must build the statues from left to right, meaning that the first statue will cost you four granite, the next one three granite, then two, then two, then three, then four. After paying the cost of the statue, you may choose to either build a statue in honor of a god or to build a statue for the people. When building a statue in honor of a god, the value of the die dictates to which god the statue must be built. So, for example, if drafting a five, then you would be uh, building the statue in honor of the god Osiris. Each action area has room for up to three statues. Uh, although when playing with uh, three players, one of those spaces is not available. Now, why do you want to build a statue in honor of a god? From now on, when another player performs that god action, you receive the depicted bonus. In the case of Osiris, to happiness. Additionally, in a three-player game, you will also receive the statue bonus immediately after building it because there are fewer players that might trigger these actions. Now, instead of building a statue in honor of one of the gods, you may choose to build the statue for the people. The construction cost is the same, but instead you will place your statue either onto one of the two spaces at the temple complex 
or onto one of the two spaces in the Osiris action area. In this case, the value of the die you use to perform the Horus God action does not matter. In both cases, you will gain the gold that was placed there during setup, and both locations will allow you to score victory points, and in the case of building the statue at the temple complex, you will score three victory points for each pillar within the temple complex in the same row or column as your statue. And there's a reminder of that below uh, the different uh, god actions in the... Yes, thank you. Next, uh, this brings us to the raw action area, which is where you can raise the pillars within the temple complex. The value of the die you draft indicates which tile you may use as the foundation for the pillar. The cost of the pillar is printed in the upper uh, area of that tile, and typically this is some amount of limestone, although granite may also sometimes be part of that cost as well. After paying the required cost, you will place the tile onto any empty space within the temple complex, and you can freely rotate the tile before placing it. Then you will score either one, two, or three victory points based on which tile you took. You will also score uh, one victory point per building in the same row or column, regardless of who constructed that building. Then, as you can see along the edge, the outside edge of this tile, you will score one victory point for every edge on the pillar tile that matches the adjacent ed edge color of another pillar tile or the outer edge of the temple complex itself. Then you receive the reward shown on the space covered by the tile. In most cases, this is some amount of resources. However, the corner spaces, they do not provide any resources. Instead, they double the victory point received for matching the edge colors. Additionally, if the tile has a sunny shaded or dark background, that matches the section of the obelisk wheel that is currently aligned with the raw action area. For example, both are dark in this, in this case. In that case, you will immediately activate the ability of the tile. And lastly, you will place one of your pillars from your personal supply onto the tile to indicate that it belongs to you. We then slide the remaining pillar tiles to the right, draw a new one, to fill that space. And we'll talk about what these pillars do again when we get back to scoring. Finally, we have the Hathor God action that allows you to construct a building along the outside of the temple complex. The cost of this building is two to four bread depending on the space that you choose. And again, in a three player game, some of those spaces are not available for three players. After paying the required bread cost, you will take, again, the leftmost building from your player board and you will place it on the selected space. For each space within the temple complex in the same row or column as your constructed building, if the space is empty, you will receive exactly one of the depicted resource or faith. If the space contains one of your pillars, you will score three victory points. If the space contains another player's pillar, then you get nothing for that space. Finally, you will advance your population marker a number of steps equal to the value of the die that you drafted. Now, there's also a seventh action that you can perform, and that is to produce resources. And in this case, it doesn't matter which action area you take the die from. Instead, only the color of the die matches. As you may have noticed, the four basic resources correspond in color to four of the die colors. For example, papyrus is yellow, bread is brown, limestone is white, and granite is black. If you wish to produce limestone, for example, you will need to draft a white die from anywhere around the obelisk. The white die, uh, or the value of this, this white die, will determine the quantity of the resource that you produce. So, for example, let's say that you draft a yellow five you will be producing five papyrus. This is where the production tracks on your player board come into play. At the start of the game, each of your production tracks, they start at two. So if you drafted a yellow five, even though the, the die itself produces five papyrus, you only get to keep two of those resources. 
Any resources produced in excess of the position of the production marker will taint your soul with greed and must be placed on the right side of the scales of your player board. And this is regardless of whether the die itself was pure or tainted. These resources, they cannot be spent and they will count against you when determining the balance of your scales during the next mod phase. And this brings me to the balancing of your scales. As mentioned previously, the game takes place over the course of 16 rounds. Every two rounds, which is when you have two or four dice on your player board, the shadow of the obelisk will rotate one step clockwise. And this is also when the newly shaded areas will be refilled with dice, one per player. Every two rotations, which is when we have four dice on the player boards, a mod phase will take place. Mott is the goddess of balance and justice, and now you must account for the balance of your actions. To determine the balance of your scales, everything on the pure side counts positive, while everything on the tainted side counts negative. Each die is worth positive equal to its value, and uh, or, or yeah, positive or negative equal to its value, and any resources. Uh, due to excess production are worth negative one each. Now, you, in this case, when we're checking the balance of the scales, we will place our marker on the MOT track that is currently underneath the production uh, resource bowls. There's no imbalance, uh, there's no penalty for having an imbalance on the side of purity. However, if your scales are imbalanced on the tainted side, just one or two, no penalty. Between three and five, you lose one victory point. Between six and eight, you lose two victory points. And nine or more, you lose three victory points. However, you really want to keep your scales as balanced as possible. And this is because at the end of the mod phase, the turn order for the following four rounds will be determined in favor of players with the most balanced scales. An earlier turn order can be very... Uh, significant in this game and this is also where the faith tokens come into play they have no uh, other use during the game there's no production cost or any building cost or anything that requires the use of faith tokens however during the mod phase to offset any imbalance between pure and tainted sides of your scales you may place any number of your faith tokens onto either the right or the left side of the scales at the end of the mod phase all faith tokens used or unused are discarded. After the eighth round of the game, so after the second mod phase, this is when the mid-game scoring will take place. And there are reminders around the obelisk wheel uh, to help you know when those scorings take place. First, for each of the four districts in the Osiris action area, so the papyrus, bread, limestone, and granite districts, we will count how many game pieces, that is both buildings and statues, that each player has. The player with the most in each district will score three victory points. In case of a tie, the tied player with the topmost game piece, whether that is a building or a statue, will win that tie. The statues, they count towards two districts. So the statue at the top of the papyrus and bread workshop districts will count towards both of those districts. And this is also why you may want to construct your buildings using a lower value die because even though the immediate benefit may be less, you're more likely to win the majority during scoring. Next, we will score the temple complex. First, for each building and statue around the temple complex, you will score one victory point. Then, for each of your pillars within the temple complex, you will score one victory point for each of your buildings and statues in that same row or column. In this particular example, this would mean that the pillar is worth one point, the building is worth one point. However, if they were not lined up, you would only score for the building. Then we will score the populous track based on how high your happiness marker has reached. You will see at the top of spaces 9, 13, 16, 19, and 21, there are these little pyramid symbols. For each of these pyramid symbols that your happiness marker has reached, you will score three victory points. 
After this, we proceed with scoring of each player's respective player board. First, you must pay upkeep for your buildings. The more buildings you have constructed, the more bread you must pay. For each bread that you're unable or unwilling to pay, you will lose three victory points. However, if you've constructed seven or more buildings, you also score additional victory points. And both the bread amounts that you must pay and the victory points that you receive are cumulative. Next, you will score two victory points per production marker on the topmost, the number six position of its production track. Finally, you will score victory points based on how many statues you've built. If you've only built one statue, that's worth one victory point, and then it goes 3, 6, 10, 15, or 21 victory points if you have built all six of them. The only thing which is different after the final scoring of the game is that you will be scoring your decrease, your personal endgame objectives, and uh, also uh, for having balance scales at the end of the game will also be rewarded next to the turn order track. Now, let me just talk real quick about the scribes, which have two uses. First of all, on your turn, when you take a die from around the obelisk wheel, you may spend one scribe to increase or decrease the value of the die by one or two. Now, the dies do not wrap around, so you cannot increase a six to become a one or vice versa. But you could certainly spend multiple scribes if you so choose. And there's a reminder of this effect above the scales on your player board. The second use allows you to spend two scribes to perform an Anubis action. When performing an Anubis action, you may take any die from anywhere around the obelisk and use this die to perform any action. Yes, any die perform any action. That means you could take a forbidden die, which normally would not be allowed. You could also take a die from one action area, but perform a different god action. You can also take any color die and produce any resource you want, including with gray dice, which normally cannot be used to produce resources. Any die from anywhere to perform any action. After performing the Anubis action, you place the die below the scales on your player board, so this die is not going to count towards the balance of your scales during the mod phase. And that is Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun. Well done. Good job. Excellent. All right. Wow. Concise. I could learn yeah. from that. All right. Cool. So, Shrey, you still with us? Yep. All right. Here. So, so, uh, so, um, Rainer told me, no, I'm not going to need to move anything during the, uh, during the teach and everything. I can't help myself, man. I really can't. Well, I mean, it, it certainly helps. Uh, so help me out. Where, where were these? What were they? So they uh, were a white one, a yellow six, and a black five. See, I knew I was going to mess it up, but I was like, nah, I got to commit it to memory. You'll be fine. And the yeah. other black five was... In uh, best at. That was, yes, best at. All right, so over here. Cool. All right. There are certainly a few things that we did not talk about as far as uh, final player setup, uh, but we will show those as we perform those steps now. So, for <laughs> example, uh, as part of setup, uh, we've each been dealt two decrees, uh, and everyone that is watching the stream, you can... Uh, see the, the decrease um, that Edward has received. Yep. Uh, if you look at the top of those decrees. All right. Uh, so here I will show folks mine here. I'm not yep. too worried. Uh, again, it's all about showing you guys how, how this plays, and it's less about us winning. So I'm not worried about that. But go for it. Go ahead. So at the top you see the golden sand timer, uh, which indicates that this is only scored during the final scoring after the 16th round uh, during of the game. But next to the sign timer, you see a symbol. And it's possible that the cards that you receive show the same symbol, or there may be di different symbols. At the end of the game, you can score up to three decrees as long as they have different symbols. Uh, during setup, you get to keep one of these decrees and you discard the other one face down. And you're going to hate this aspect? Be like, oh, I really want that. It has the same symbol! 
Not that yep. I've done that before or anything, but you know, maybe. Uh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to bring the chat up and the cameras up and everything on all the cameras. So give me just a second, y'all. There we go. All right, so now the first thing that we do is our decrees, correct? Correct. All right, so uh, they are choosing theirs, and I will choose mine. And this kind of gives you something to work towards that you don't necessarily have to, but, you know... That doesn't Although, seem terrible. I, I seem to recall someone saying that in a game that has in-game in objectives. <laughs> it may behoove you. Uh, all right, so I'm going to choose this one secretly that the guys don't know. So I'm going to choose that one. Uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and just place it up there. All right, so that is mine. And then, uh, Shrey, what number are you keeping? Uh, it is number one. Okay. So I am only going to look at the sides of these so that I can, there you go. He's keeping number one. That's going to go there. So that one is discarded. And Rainer, what number are you keeping? Seven. He's keeping number seven. And that will go right there. All right. So a couple other things just from a, uh, uh, setup standpoint and uh, streaming standpoint, my resources and everything are going to go down here. These cards are about to go away. We haven't talked about those. We will in a minute. But my resources are going to go down here. Rainers are going to go in this area. Uh, and then Shrays are going to go over here. And again, it's all about just making this a little bit easier for yours truly in my back. So that's why. All right. All right. Uh, so, Rainer, you want to go ahead and talk about uh, the, the yes. starting resource cards and everything. So uh, the next thing that happens, so there's a deck of 12 starting cards. And at the beginning of the game, as part of player setup, you will draw a number of cards equal to twice the number of players plus one. So those are the seven cards that you see at the bottom. And these ones basically provide the starting resources and sometimes some other benefits uh, during the setup. Um, some of these are fairly self-explanatory. They give you some cultural resources or some scribes and maybe increased happiness or, uh, or uh, uh, population. But the two cards on the left, uh, I just want to talk about briefly. The one that has the number one on it. During setup, uh, this card will allow you to place a building anywhere along the number five row in the Osiris action area. You do get the production increase, you do get the resources immediately, but you do not have to pay the associated happiness. And then the next card over, uh, the number five, as part of setup, you would be drawing two random technology cards from the top of the deck. Uh, you get to keep one of them, discarding the other, no, other one. Now, you don't know what these uh, technologies are going to be. However, technologies, and in fact, all the cards in the game, they're, they're very useful anyway, so there's very little risk in, in taking this, making this choice. Uh, now, we have uh, randomly determined, as you can see in the upper corner there of the screen, the, the starting turn order. So it goes uh, Edward, Shrey, and then me, which means that uh, uh, Edward gets to draft the first card and then this is a snake draft and we will each uh, be drafting a total of two cards uh, and after this we're going to talk about uh, the four cards that you see there on the on the left the, the destiny cards uh, also the numbers that you see at the top of these starting cards in a sense the, the lower the, the number on the card the better the card is that's not entirely true depending on your on your strategy However, the player that has the highest sum between their two starting cards is going to be the first player uh, when we actually start playing the game. So, Edward? Well, given what my endgame goal is here, um, and let's face it, I mean, resources are, I, I mean, we start with one scribe and one gold, and that's it, plus anything else that yep. we get here. So the the two, honestly, that I really am thinking, leaning towards, I would have immediately taken this one until you said that the 
The lower number tends to be stronger. But I was leaning towards those two, get two scribes and a gold, or get three population and two happiness. Unfortunately, this is set up such that the two happiness still puts you in yellow and not quite red. I'm sure that's a coincidence. So there's <laughs> that. Um, you know what? I'm happy with that. So I will go ahead and take the two scribes and a gold. So I'm just going to discard this out of play and just immediately get as we choose these. I'm just going to go ahead and put those now, for the players. I, I, I know this is just set up, but we have our first glory to roam because that is the card <laughs> I was hoping to take. Uh, uh, wow. Not the card I was looking for. So, uh, so all right. Thanks. So over under, uh, wow, both of these guys are usually pretty chill on the glory to roams. So now uh, I was going to set if, it if at three and a half. To, you, you, can, you can show... Um, to the chat or to the camera, the the decree that I picked, and that will oh okay. that will explain why I okay. am unhappy. So here we go. If that there you go, not looking yep. at it. There you go. All right, good. All right. So now Shrey, it is your honor, sir. So four and a half. Um, so I enjoy a little random draw, and I like the tech card, so I will go with card number five. Okay. All right. So this one. All right, so I'm going to discard that out of play. I'm going to draw the top two off the top here, and you're going to tell me left hand, right hand. All right. Hey, you know what? Look. Here, this would probably be easier for folks to see. So top or bottom, and again, I'm I'm just not concerning myself with the. Uh... Oh, these are text. These are face up, anyways. So yep. yeah, yeah. So no big deal. And those those are both. They're both really good. I mean. I feel like all the texts they're always good, but both of these are they're oh. they're very interesting. I really like the uh, the five onk value. Okay. But having having to pay no bread is really nice. <laughs> uh, no, no, you know what? I'm going with the I'm going with the five onk value. That's, all right, that's five good. onk value it is. So this one will come over into your tableau there, and you know what? Just so folks can see. So those are your cards. Now that's your end game. Again, not looking at it. So there you go. All right, just so folks at home know it. So we'll just kind of tuck that in under there. We'll put that there. The other one is discarded out. Done. All right, Rainer. Well, in this case, uh, since you took the only card that I had ever cared for, <laughs> um, I am going to take cards 11 and 10. So I want to have the increased uh, population and happiness. Okay. And I also get to take three resources, any combination of papyrus and bread. Uh, and this, this could be three of the same. They can be three different ones. Uh, and I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take three bread. Let's okay. do that. All right. So three bread it is. And again, I'm just going to put these up here for you. There we go. And uh, you said this one. And because it's a snake draft, you got back-to-back -back choices. That was the yep, other one I that I really wanted. So just I'm putting these so he actually has drafted 21 total in value, which means he's going to go first. There's no way that... Uh, that um, Either Shrey or I. I mean, can catch I, I'm I'm hoping to be able to mess something up in return. So, oh yeah, Rainer is going to win, guys. Let's be clear about this. It's just it, uh, basically you're you're judging between me and Shrey who is going to finish last. So, all right. Yeah. So Shrey, um, what was the number value in your card, Edward? Uh, seven, sir. Seven. And you're oh, five. Okay. Uh, so I couldn't take the nine and guarantee second place. Uh, checks out. Yep. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll just take the one then. Do I want a building? Do you? If I place a two, oh, it's on the five row. That's of course correct. Right. Okay. And yeah. hmm. I mean, it gets you a couple extra resources on wherever you place it, though. So there's that. Right? Yeah, and that's what's what's interesting. Uh, of course, I declined the paying no bread during. During Mott, so uh, putting a building. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that anyway. Okay, so you're going to take the one. Okay. Yeah. And going to put it over here in Osiris. So that is one of your buildings. So it's going to be the first one over here. It's got to go in the five, and you said on the bread? Uh, no, um, we're going to put it on the, um, the papyrus. 
Okay, so papyrus. Now we're going to cover it, which means this papyrus is going to go up two, and he gets two papyrus in addition to that. So here's your two papyrus there, and your papyrus will move up two like so. Okay? All right. Excellent. So now, uh, grab some resources, Edward. Why don't you? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Uh, to be honest with you, um, I am two rotations away, and the obelisk rotates every two times, right? Every two actions, yep. Right. So here's what I'm thinking. Now, for those at home that know my endgame scoring card, I need to double check. I know mine. Yes. Um, to be able to place uh, pillars, basically, is mostly through this action right here. And I'm looking at that. And you know what? I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose the nine card then. Uh, which and I can take any mix and match of these. So I will take uh, I will take two limestone and a granite, so two white and one black resource. And I, sh I should also uh, just mention that sometimes these these scoring uh, cards you have to you have to read carefully what uh, it provides because sometimes it might give you blanket victory points uh, let's say for example for every statue that you build <laughs> but it might also sometimes be per statue built in honor of a god that or, is true or people and so forth right so all right so I chose that one those go away and now uh, we have turn order correct yes so the total uh, value, uh, the sum on, on the cards that I took is 21. Uh, and the ones that you took, Edward, is 16. And Shrey, the ones that you took, is 6. So that means that I will be first in turn order for the first four rounds, and then Edward, and then Shrey. And, and now we don't need these uh, starting cards anymore after we have determined the turn order and received the benefits from them. All right, cool. However, this is where uh, the four destiny cards that are laid out at the bottom of the uh, of the game board, <clears throat> where they come into play. We will also be drafting these now in the newly established turn order, uh, which means that I get uh, first choice there. We are actually going to redraft these cards during each mod phase. Um, and you see the onk values at the top of them. When we balance the scales during the mod phase, if there's a tie between multiple players, the highest onk value breaks that tie. And again, highest meaning biggest number. Correct. Not highest. Like, never mind. It's confusing to me. It might be to other people as well. All right. Maybe not. Yep. Um, I'm going to take the zero one to get one scribe to make up for the atrocious act of <laughs> Mr. Euler. <laughs> Uh, don't believe him, folks. He's a ringer, and yeah. Um, I look back on on a previous uh, stream, and and someone was saying, "Oh, it's when, when you hear hear Rainer, he he just sounds so nice and calm." And then afterwards, you realize that he's he's actually evil or or telling lies. As yeah, he lies. he is cutthroat. <laughs> Let's be clear, Rainer. At you, you really are. Um, so increasing my happiness, a free jump, you know, that's nice. But gold as a wild resource really can come in handy. I'm terrible about balancing my scales. And so having faith, uh, it, it, which helps adjust the scales, uh, one per faith. It's a disposable one, though, because it goes away after every uh, mop phase. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and take the gold. I think that's going to be... The most useful so i gave myself my third gold and i will put that and now shrey um i think i will do it so oh you take that one okay i will go with that too all right Since so do you want the population or the happiness good sir that's what i was just thinking about and this um, actually can kind of just stay out here because we're going to be redrafting and i'm going to put them back out so there we go yep. and now because of the technology that uh, Shrey took, uh, the Ankh value on, on these Destiny cards don't matter because he has a permanent Ankh value of five from his right. technology. Yeah. Yeah. I will take the, uh, I'll take population. All right. And you are purple. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me. I have, the allergies are kicking hard today. Let me tell you. Sorry about that, y'all. 
All right. So, uh, Rainer, or, yep, it yep. is your honor. Uh, Chip sa asks, uh, the box says one to four. What's the solo mode like? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Chip, because you're going to see it next week on this channel. I'm going to be nice. streaming yep. this next week. So, there you go. All right. So, Rainer, what you got? All right. I am going to I'm going to start by taking some cards. So I'm going to take the yellow 3 from the Thoth. Uh, so that's a tainted die uh, from the Thoth action okay. area. All right. So, so we'll go on the tainted side of my scales. Right there. Which okay. at the at the beginning, um obviously I want to keep my scales even, but right now that's that's I I I have time to to fix that still. Now, because I drafted a three, uh, I just realized that I made a mistake. Uh, okay. I only have one gold. I will draft the one instead. Okay. All right. A uh, moment. So, so let's back yeah. that up. There. So the one, now this is going on the purity side. Correct. So that will go there. All right. So let's back that up here. Would you yeah. like to draft a card, sir? I would <laughs> love to. <laughs> I am going to take... Um, and that. only from this area, because his happiness is in that area. So disregard those. Yep. I will take that uh, technology, so the third card in the yellow action area. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to, to use this to increase uh, the, the happiness of my people and, uh, and getting two victory points and the population and the happiness each time I do so. so. And the iconography actually works really well. Once you remember which god is what... Like, that, that's Thoth, and, like, I have no chance on this, just FYI, so I have a little reminder over there. But this is, I mean, whenever you take Bastet as an action, you get two points, increase your happiness there, and your population one. So the iconography, you guys did well with this. It's just a matter of, ah, which is the name of the god. That's my only, that's my only shortcoming yep. on this. So there we go. All right. And you are done, sir. And we refill that at the end of your turn. Correct. So, which is now. So I will go ahead and reach over here. And we have... Uh, mm. There we go. Whenever you perform the Hathor God action, which that is basically building uh, buildings and temples, um, you gain a bread. So, okay. And it's worth noting that that bread, you can actually gain that before you take the action. So you can use it to, to pay the cost of the action you're taking. Oh. Oh, you know what? I just realized there was something I was going to do during before the stream. So one thing I want to show everybody, just you explain this, but I do want to point this out. And yeah, I'm probably not going to. You know what? I know what I can do. Give me just a second. Yeah, I think I will. Here. Uh, there are how many? There are two. One, two, two three, on each three, side. Four yeah. total. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so I do. Uh, I'm going to put down the player, the uh, player color that is out of play here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these off in the four spaces. So those are out of play for us just to make it visually a little more easy for everybody at home to see. So those are out of play, okay? So that way that helps. Hey, man versus Meeple in the house says, love the game, really happy it's getting more coverage. Thanks, Heavy Cardboard. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks, appreciate it. Um, all right, so I think if we're gonna do this, if we're, I have not gone heavy into statues yet in any of my plays of this, so I think I'm gonna try and experiment a little with this. So. I am going to go ahead and take the Horus action, which is up here. Oh, man. Did I mention the <laughs> allergies? I apologize. All right. So all of the dice are available over here. And now it's just the question of which god do I want to associate the action with? And I already have three scribes. So taking the six, eh, but happiness... Happiness is kind of nice. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the five purity die. So I will do that, put it over here on the purity side of my board. And I get to place a statue 
for the god Osiris here, which every time somebody takes an action, I will gain, or it takes a die from right down here, I will get to happiness, including whenever I place that statue. So, ah, I did it again, didn't I? But you know what? I have wild resources, so I'm going to do that. It might be a little wasteful, but I'm tired. I don't want to pull a rainer and have to mulligan my very first turn. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm, it requires, you'll notice a statue requires four uh, granite. I only have one granite, but I have three gold. And gold is a wild resource. So I am going to take all of my gold and my granite and my first statue, which is going to be worth a point. All right. Then I'm going to come up, <clears throat> excuse me, come up here. Actually, I will show you guys. So I'm putting it down for the Osiris, uh, on the Osiris God here. So that will come over. And I will place that right there. And because I did that, I'm going to immediately, because it's a three-player game, get two happiness. So the two happiness will go right there. And again, I you can match where you're happy or where your population is. You just cannot go past that. Uh, yeah, done. And, and, and the funny thing about all this is every time I do this, I screw this up. It's right here. Hey, granted, it's right here. It's clear as day, right in the area you're looking. Yet somehow, I miss it. I don't you know. You mean like someone else messed up how much papyrus they had? Right. It happens. Shrey, yeah. you're up. <laughs> okay. I will take the die that Rainer spurned earlier. Uh, that <laughs> yellow three, soft die. All right. So. Uh, yellow three Thoth, and that is coming over onto the tainted side. Tainted side, yeah. Since it was from and, there. Oh, and hey, I do have a papyrus in my supply. Oh, you do have two papyrus. I do have two, two papyrus, in fact. <laughs> right. And so, can I take all three, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I like them all. Um, I'm definitely taking the, the first um, uh, card. What okay. This one's called the white ones. Uh, so when performing, I'm taking I'm taking yeah. the first blessing and mm, no, I'm, I'm going to take the I will take the tech card also. OK, so I'll these take. two right there. Yep. So they actually work together if you take the uh, the Hathor action because they're both Hathor actions. Yep. Right. So. All right. And there's no hand limit. Correct, Rainer? Correct. All right. Four, 412 is what I like to say when, when fair, there's none. Fair, fair point. Thank you. All right, and we will immediately refill the tech, which, there we go. When producing resources, which is instead of taking one of the associated actions, uh, gain a victory point for every excess resource produced. Huh, so you taint them, <laughs> they're tainted, <laughs> but you get points, so eh, mm. whatever, okay. Yeah, and, that, could, that could work. <laughs> right? Because it might, it might actually help you balance, actually. Yeah. Absolutely. And then a blessing, when taking a die, spend one scribe to also, also take an adjacent god action. Huh. And you can take those actions in, in any order. So basically oh. you're spending an action taking that card, and later you get a double action. Nice. Okay. And that requires papyrus. Good to know. All right, Rainer, your honor, sir. Um, I am going to, uh, because I have the resources and I know that this time, <laughs> I'm going to take the brown five from the Hathor action area. So I this actually is had to... a feeling that's what you were going to yeah. do. So. That's going to go on the tainted side of my scales. And I will be paying, uh, even though I have another gold resource, I'm going to pay, pay three of the bread resources. All right, so you see here. To be able to do so, he's paying the three bread. And I'm not going to walk this through for every single action in the entire game, but I figure for the first time we do these things, right? All right. And I'm going to place that building on the X2 coordinate spot. Okay, so X2 is going to be right here. Yes, we talked about this before the stream, so there we go. And that was the three bread that he yep. paid right there. 
And now I will get one of each of uh, resources and faith depicted there. So basically I get one of each of the four basic resources and I get one faith as well. So even though those spaces show uh, two or three symbols on them, I only get one of each. You get the two or three when you place a pillar on top of that space. And so it should be a total of five. Somehow I grabbed six, no gold. That was it. All right. All right. Uh, and then also my population. Uh, now it, I should also say, had I had a pillar uh, already here, I would have received victory points for it. And now my population goes up by five, putting me at 13. So two things to reiterate. If you had a pillar there, if I had a pillar there, or Shrey did, you wouldn't have. Correct. And also, the reason you're getting five population is because he took a five value die. Just, Correct. Just, just driving the point home. And now we need to do a little bit of uh, game admin here because, uh, as you may have noticed, the card market, only the first few spaces were filled at the beginning of the game because no one can get higher and there's no need to um, basically overload with information. But as soon as someone's population marker gets into the green or blue areas, and in fact, in this case, I reached both of them, uh, we will refill... Uh, or would rather fill those spaces, uh, starting with the green area, um, because now, theoretically, if I increase my happiness, I can get access to those cards. Right. So we have a blessing, and that's what's printed on here is what type of card comes out there. So, okay. When producing resources, you just get three or four bread, because that's cool. We'll go ahead and do the other blessing as well here. When performing a Ra or Horus God action, you don't have to pay for it. That's good to know. I like that. I like that card a lot. But again, you have to get your happiness marker, the little guy, Into the blue all the area. way up there. Maybe yep. a day. All right. So then we're going to get uh, technology cards here. And I'll go ahead and read them uh, for the beginning part of this, I think, as we refill them. So use limestone and granite interchangeably. If you do, once per turn, you just gain a point. So... That's kind of nice. Wow, all of a sudden I want a lot of these cards. You may treat forbidden dice as if they were pure or tainted. So, wow, you can grab all these dice that nobody else can. Nice. Re really useful early in the game. Almost nice. no value at the end of the game. But <laughs> Fair point. Still. And uh, when you receive a Horus bonus from a statue, gain a granite. Okay. Hmm. That might be good for you. Yeah, me. All right. Then we have three decrees that come out. Now, you guys can't see the other two yet, but you will hear momentarily. So endgame scoring, again, rem note the symbol on top. You can only score one of each type uh, to a maximum of three, correct? Correct. All right. Gain two victory points per pillar within the temple complex and two victory points per building around the temple complex, please. <laughs> So, uh, please do not let um, Rainer get this. He abused this <laughs> horribly last time I played with him. And then, but it was such a good card. <laughs> then we have two more. Gain four points per where your happiness marker. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, mm, that's a nice one. He also abused this one too. So, and finally, pay two gold to score another decree a second time. I actually did this one in the last game, so there's that. But again, you got to get all the way to the blue <laughs> to do that. All right, yep. and I had that one in a, in a game and then uh, forgot to hold on to two gold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so or, it's important or you have to that score. One, you have the two gold, and then the first decree you forgot about. <laughs> I've right. also seen that happen. So. <laughs> That's highly unfortunate. <laughs> and by unfortunate, he means really funny when it's not him. Yeah. Um, well, all of a sudden, so I'm looking at this. I'm pink. I, uh, you're going to hear me say that a few times. At least there's no yellow on the board, so that's helping me. Um, that action is kind of nice to be able to grab that card. But unfortunately, you notice there are no dice available. Well, there's a die, but it's forbidden. And I can't do that unless I'm in green to be able to get that. So forget that. I'm not taking cards. Highly unfortunate. Well, I mean, you could use your scribes, right? 
You have oh, three I, I guess. Oh, I could use uh, that. That's a fair point. I could use two scribes to go ahead. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. I, for, I always forget about that. I always remember you can use scribes to uh, adjust the the face value, the pip value, but ah. Uh, Population wouldn't be terrible at this point, and they are high-value dice right now. So you know what? I apologize. Oh, all right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, best it action, which is this down here. Because they're high-value dice, and I already have a five purity die, so, you know. Are you, are you absolutely positive you'd like to do that? Based on where your population marker is. Oh, that's happy. No, wrong. I said the wrong thing. No. I want population, not... I apologize. You're right. I need bread. Ah, <laughs> you're right. I need bread to be able to gain population. That's what it is that I'm trying to do. But I need bread. I don't have bread. I can get bread over here by losing a little bit of happiness. So I guess that's... What we're gonna end up doing. I'm not bitter. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, all right. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and take the Osiris. I should point out I don't get the boost in happiness because it's me, unfortunately. I need bread. So I have a couple of options. I could go ahead and load up here to get extra bread. And then whenever I get bread resources, I can go ahead and boost that up uh, for whenever I get more bread. But I lose tiebreaker. But you know what? I'm going to encourage people coming here because it's going to give me happiness. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. So I will take the six tainted die here. So the six will come over onto my tainted side. And I will go ahead and place my first building, which... I will go ahead and place here. That's going to make me lose one happiness there. I will get two bread. I will go up two on the bread track. So here we go. There. And then I can go up one other, including the bread track, if I want. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and load up heavy on bread on that. My building will come out onto there. And I'm done. That's it. All right. Okay. All right. So you're dead. Okay. So I, so Rainer took the die, the die that I wanted. So, but there's a, still a three over there. So I'm going to take that, um, that brown three in the half hour section. Okay. All right. So this will come over onto your tainted side. So he now has a taint value of six. I didn't want to delay this because that that area is not going to get well. Yeah, that area is not going to get refilled or changed for another two rounds. So that was a I needed I needed that three specifically, or I needed one of those two dice. So I would uh, have liked it to last, but right. Oh right. well. So I'm going to I will use my um, my uh, blessing card, which okay. when performing a, a Hathor, uh, I do not pay the bread cost. It's so it's words, or that one right there. Yeah, so I'll nice. use I'll use that, and then I will place another building, and um, I guess I will just place it in the uh, the four bread slot uh, X three. Okay, X three right there. And so I will receive um, a bread, a papyrus, a gold, yay, a limestone, and limestone, a granite. And a granite. I'm and, putting all that over in your area. And since it's, I get three points, uh, no, I don't get three points. Uh, that is if there's a pillar If you there. had a pillar there, correct. You know, this, yep. But I do bump on my population by three. Uh, yes. And your population, you are purple. So yep. one, two, and three, which is in the okay. green now. So if you can get that up, you have access to the green cards. All right. Uh, Edward, you didn't take your two bread, right? Nope, I never do. I thank you. Yes, playing the uh, heavy cardboard variant, uh, according to chat. Yes, that would have been unfortunate. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. All right. 
Man vs. Meeple says, I don't know what rig Heavy Cardboard's using, but it's slick, super slick. I appreciate that. Put a lot of work into this, so that's nice. All right, if you guys will give me just a second before we go, I need to go blow my nose because this is going to kill me. And so give me just a second. Yay, live. And while while Edward is is off for a moment, it's it's interesting actually how much interaction there is in this game. Um, I mean the you 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 feel like okay, I'm planning and I'm doing this, and in the end, you you can you set yourself up to to do the actions that you want to take, and then someone comes and they take the die that you wanted, and it's yeah. Turn order can be very significant in the game. Yes, yeah, so that's one of the reasons I took this to, this um, this tech card with a fight yep. onk. Or like I I like to nickname it the going first tech. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually use it a good effect. Yeah. And yeah, Edward Chat points out that Edward needs to push up one of his one of his tracks. Wait, uh, right. which one? Oh no, he did. No, um, I did. I I went up oh, the bread yeah. three. Yep. Oh, you went a red three. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, it was two plus the one additional. Yeah. So there we right. go. Yep. All right. Okay. Excellent. All right. Oh, that's worlds better. All right. Now I can focus. All right, Rainer. So now, uh, well, so now we all have two dice on our player board. We so do. now the shadow is going to rotate and follow the arrow. There we go. Yep. Okay. And we'll refill the newly shaded areas with dice. All right. So walk us through all of this. Yep, so every time that the, the shadow rotates, uh, we're going to be drafting, or not drafting, drawing from, from a bag, uh, one die per player for each of those newly shaded areas. So both the raw and the thought action areas are going to receive new dice. Okay. So one each, correct? Correct. Okay, so raw, that'll be a two. And because we drew a black die, it's going to go, as you guys can see there, into the... Oh, and we need to adjust all the dice, but we yep. will do that in a minute. That's fine. And Thoth, right? Well, you, you need two more in the raw area. Oh, it's three. One per player. I don't yep, know why I was... Okay, and two gray. There we go. So I'm just going to throw them up there. And then the last three will be over here in Thoth. There we go. So that'll be... These will come down here. Now we need to adjust all of the areas per what, if they changed, right? Correct. So, and I'm sure Rainer can do this quicker than I can, but I will go ahead and show you guys as somebody that is not terribly uh, experienced with this so you guys can see. So looking, I'll go ahead and start, well, I'll start up top, I guess. A little hard to see past the obelisk. Here we go. Got it. All right. So yellow dice would be uh, purity, but obviously uh, we have none. So everything is going to be in the tainted area. So a moment yep. on that. That wow, a lot of gray fives. Yeah. Yo, dog. I hear you like gray fives. All right. Then over here we have stays, and over here we have black becomes uh, pure and the brown becomes tainted there. Yep. Then down here, we have purity is going to be brown and yellow there, and then everything else is going to be tainted. Over here, we have purity, well, that stayed as it was, so there we go. Done. Yep. All right. And, and one thing uh, you need in the Horus area oh, as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm sorry, over here, thank pure. you. Yeah, so that goes there, and that goes there. There we go. And one thing that is nice to remember is that all the dice that come out are always immediately available. So there will never be any of the dice that you draw because in in the shadows, uh, no dice are forbidden. Right. <laughs> in the shadows, you can do anything. Yes. All right. All right. So now I get to draft a die. And I'm going to take one of the two black fives in the Bastet action area. So mm -hmm. those are now pure and we'll go on the pure side of my scales. All right. So uh, it's now time, six to five for those scoring yep. at home as far as balance This time goes. I do have resources. So I'm spending <laughs> one papyrus and one gold. 
Okay, one papyrus and one gold there. And then my happiness uh, goes up by five, so my happiness is now at nine. First triangle, note. Yep, and and this is also a, a good point to point out. Uh, you may see those three symbols that are later on the track, so there's a gold, a scribe, and then a, an any die symbol. Those are triggered when your happiness marker gets to that point. Of so again, course it is. <laughs> the, the population is just the limiter. Happiness is what, what matters. And that last one, if you get your, if you max out your happiness, you get to perform uh, an action with any die value you want. And just take that action. You still have to pay the resources, but you get a bonus action, which is nice. Uh, did I now, mention? So, I, oh, sorry. Go I ahead. also have a technology. Uh, I am going to gain one population and one happiness and two victory points. <laughs> Whenever you perform a best, that, that is true. So I'm glad uh, you can remember that. So you are orange. So that's going mm -hmm. to be one here, one here, and two points for orange. Mm -hmm. There we go. And because that's a technology, it just is ongoing. Correct. Should have taken papyrus, Edward. Uh, can I interrupt a second? Yeah. I forgot to take I forgot to take a bread when I built that building around the around the pyramid because of my tech card, the tech card on the Oh on yeah, the left. yeah, right yep. here. Yep, so fair point. Bread. Okay, there you go. You now have your bread, sir. There you go. Thank you. All right. Uh, I need bread to be able to do what I want. I need papyrus to do what I want. Yeah. Well, I guess technically I don't need papyrus to come down here. Happiness I do, but I need population before I can do... Uh, I also need granite if I want to build more statues. Okay. So, it only gets me one that will give me three... It feels wasted, but I think that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and come down to the Osiris area over here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the one die, because obviously it's the only one that I can that is going to be on the purity side of things. So we are now even, 6-6. Six, six. Yay, that's good. I, I also appreciate your commitment to taking the dice from there so that we cannot trigger your statue. Oh, there is that. <laughs> Son of a... Yeah, but you know what? I hear you, but it's... I no, figure no, I'll do it early. Is... Yeah, yeah, for sure. And let you guys... Tis no, what I, it I'm is. just giving you a hard time. It's... I know you are, and I'm... Yeah. So, that, yeah, I go down fine. one happiness there. And I am going to go ahead, because it was a one value... Going to go ahead and place it here, which will get me one granite, and I will go up the granite track one step as well. So the granite track will be there so that whenever I take granite, I will be able to hopefully be able to, or I'll be able to keep up to three, and I have a granite on my, and that's that. I, I think this actually highlights what, uh, some of the interesting decisions you have to make where you're saying, well, you really wanted to increase your population right but at the same time it is a better time for you to to increase your production tracks and get the resources and so forth there are right well only, i mean you only have 16 turns in the game and the decisions that you have to make at every step of the way are they're significant so they are <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot do everything right uh all right shrey uh you are up and hey renee Yes. Um, so I think uh, John in chat was saying, no, "Don't let Rainer shoot up to the the, pop, the happiness track." I, I, I'm going to take that other uh, five black five in Bastet. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to have two papyrus, which you only have one. So we're going to take gold a gold. Also. Yep. Yeah. All right. And so Bastet, do you have anything for Bastet? You don't. Do so, not. all right, you said you're taking which one? I apologize. The black five. The black five. So that is purity, so five to six now over there. So he paid the two papyrus, so he's going to get the purple five, seven, okay? And five, womp, womp. Yeah. 
All right. Well, the five happiness is nice. Oh, hey, uh, tell me about it. I, I have unhappy peeps. Okay. Yeah, Raider, so I, have uh, you ever played and not gone up with your happiness? I have, yes. I've stayed at... Uh, in fact, the last game that I played, uh, my ending happiness was at zero. So I, I've definitely definitely done that. All right. And uh, it, it's, it's usually an either or, though. Either okay. I max out the track or I, I keep it fairly low. Okay. And Gustavo says, I think Edward needs to grab four bread because he put it on the tainted scale, right? Because of the six yellow die? No. Um, I placed for the six... It was just to be able to place it here. That is, if I took resources, uh, six papyrus, then I would have. Because uh, I only can keep two of it. Then I would have put four over on the tainted side. So, there we go. No worries. Okay. Um, so. I am going to, I'm going to take uh, the white two from the Thoth uh, action area. So, that's going to go on the tainted side of my scales. And... Uh, and this allows me to take any card for free. And because my happiness marker is now all the way up to the green, I can take the majority of these cards are open to me. I'm going to take from the green area that second technology that allows me to take forbidden cards or forbidden dice. This is early in the game. I that figured so that, gross. I that will you probably... So. I hate you hit. so bad. There's a board for that. Yeah, <laughs> glory to Rome. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to get it, Right, but just you, the you fact just that you figured out it. how, just oh man. Uh, all right, use gold and scribes interchangeably. If you do once per turn, gain a victory point. Did I mention I need papyrus and happiness <laughs> and popular? Oh my god. Yep. I hate you so bad. Just on principle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Although I would argue that you've probably played this more than any human on Earth. Um, recently, at least. Yeah. Yes. So. Or, or at least been part of. The, I haven't necessarily played all of them, but yes, <laughs> been been part of. Kind of GMing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Derek. Man, Rainer is so bad. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Who invited this guy and keeps inviting him? He's like Ken, but Der he's nice. <laughs> See, Ken, Ken will just be like, yeah, I'm just going to screw you. Rainer was like, oh, you're such a nice guy, and then stabs you in the back or elbows you in the head. And uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm bitter. I, I would say I'm not bitter. And for those keeping track at home, now I will, even though my current balance on my scales is six to seven, but I do have a fate token, so we will be at even Steven. Well, I will not be because, as you can see, I'm at six and six unless I were to take an Osiris. Uh, I'm sorry, a Nubis action. Yep. Um, so I have two bread. I have one granite uh, uh, and two limestone. And there is a two up there, but I can't. I, I am so bad right now. Ah. Uh, I would need three granite to be able to take that action. I have one. I need three more limestone to do that action. There are no dice left to be able well, to do... two more limestone, uh, right? Because you have... You I have, have two. two. Check that. I have two. Correct. Um, I have no papyrus. No. I can take the one to be able to grab one of these cards, mm -hmm. right? So there's that. Uh... Or I could keep just, oh, no, there's no actions left. But I could, because we're about to go. That would give me more actions or more resources without taking at the, at the cost of happiness. You know what? I think I will actually take an Osiris action, even though I don't have any dice available. Because I have my scribes. I'm going to go ahead and spend two scribes to take a die. And that will keep your scales balanced. Exactly. Too. That was the other thing that I was thinking, to keep it at six and six. Uh, so now it's a question of which action, which, yeah, basically, where do I want to put my building over here? And I could make a case for we're about to rotate into white. I have that. 
So grabbing two limestone would actually, that is the thing that I want. So two limestone. So that means I want either a five or a six. And you know what? Going up again or even on a this. four, because that would give you gold as well. It's a fair point, which gives me a little bit more flexibility. However, if we do this, we peg out our bread track. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go down here. So I will grab a six from somewhere. So now the question is, where? Uh, I think I will. So I have three choices, right? There, there, or here. But I think I will go ahead and grab that six for that action. Now, because... I'm doing the Anubis action. That goes below my scales. So as we mentioned, that stays balanced. We grab, I have two bread to be able to, good. Here, I will go ahead and place it there to grab two limestone. I am remembering to grab it this time. I go up limestone track twice, and I go up one other track once. So limestone will go up two, and one other track could be limestone. I'll go ahead and ping the bread. This way, I'm going to be getting points whenever we go into a scoring round there. Done. Okay, and yes, so I know I'm going to need granite for my in-game card, John, but eh, everyone's yelling at me. I, so you... I, I, I have a plan. I'm not saying it's a good plan, but I have a plan. Go ahead, John. Well, I mean, th this technology over here, then you can spend limestone and granite interchangeably so that's that's always an option too. this one right here yep yep but okay here i'll let the cat out of the bag this one gives me another end game scoring card mm -hmm. i realize that it's wild but if i build the building it's going to get me a new uh, end game scoring card so hopefully i'll be able to score two of them so that's that's my plan because we're going to rotate this into white so hey there's a plan at least all right all right sure mm -hmm. i'll shut up now there is. Uh, okay, so I will, since your scales are both balanced, I should get mine balanced so that, because I would really like to turn order. Um, Although you, you can you can still be within two because of your technology. Right, uh, but the problem is that there's not a lot of dice out there that will help me get there. If I take anything tainted, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, those are all big numbers. It is a two, but that still would put me outside the range. So if I take... If I take this one, I, this one's a good one. The uh, sorry, the uh, white two in in uh, Horus, but yep. um, but I don't have the. Uh, oh, you don't have the granite. Yeah, I I know how that feels. Yeah, so I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the uh, the yellow one in Thoth. All right, yellow one in Thoth. All right, so yeah. there that is on the yeah. purity side. Hey, look at us all balanced. Well done, fellas. Yeah. All right. I'm and I'm slightly unhappy about this because i will be going last yes <laughs> but first in our heart sir first in our heart all right um and i get one card um and you are purple so it can be from the red so from here yeah. down i i i oh i can sorry i forgot i can i didn't look at the red cards i was only <laughs> looking at the yellow um mm, these are all oh. so good I know, I know. Seriously, there I don't I, I have yet to see a card to where I'm not like, ooh, shiny. I feel like a <laughs> raccoon. <Yeah. laughs> yep. Well, and especially early game, you just imagine all the things that you can do with them and then <laughs> right. the end, end game rolls around and you haven't done half of it. So half? That's that's ambitious. Okay. <laughs> yeah, while, while Shrey's thinking about this, hey, it, all you guys and gals out there watching, if you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumb. Consider subscribing to the channel. Also, down in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you want to support this show. If you think it's worth a buck or two a month, I would appreciate it. Go to pledgehc.com. Certainly would appreciate it, y'all. All right. All right. I'm going to take the second red card. All right, so we're talking this being the blessing here? Yes. yes. So when taking a die, decrease population and happiness by one to also take the opposite. So in other words, for instance, if you took a Thoth action, you would then be able to take a Ha or Ra action. With so. the same pip value, right? Yep, soon. correct. Yeah. Yes, okay. That's implied there, right? Uh, you know what? Here, we'll just, there's, there's plenty of room. We'll just do like so. There we go. All right, cool. 
All right, and you are done. Good and sir. Replace you just need a new card. Oh, right, yeah. Blessing. Here we go. And we have... When oh, taking so a nice die, one. treat it as if there were a different, they were a different color. You may adjust its value, plus <laughs> or minus one. Excellent. So, hey, a gray die could be used for resources. Oh, yeah. check you, that. You could, also, you could also actually decide to say, look at that, that yellow six, for example, in the Hathor area. You could say... Well, I'm going to treat this one as a black or a brown die, which means that it's no longer forbidden. And oh, take it, so, so, oh, nice. Nice. That's yep. clever. I like that. It's like a one-time, not quite as good as an Anubis action, but really powerful still. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was, that's all... We now have uh, four dice each, so yep. Rainer, go for it. Lead us. So, again, uh, the shadow around the obelisk will now rotate one step. Uh, and now, because we have four dice on our player board, before we refill dice or anything, we must now balance the scales uh, on our player boards. Uh, do you want to start with you, Edward? Sure. All right. So, so I... Go ahead. And, and again, we, we don't necessarily need to go over this uh, every time, but just so that everyone knows how, how this works. So so you have uh, six on each side, so your scales are, are balanced. You don't have any faith tokens, and even if you did, you wouldn't necessarily uh, need to, to use them. But if uh, I had them, they would still go away. They would still go away. That yes. is correct. Okay. Uh, Shrey uh, also has balanced scales. And um, even though you have the two free, which you would you would get at this point, you don't need to use those either. Your scales are also balanced, and mine are not balanced. I'm one off on uh, have one fewer on the pure side, but I will spend my faith token to uh, make up the difference and balance my scales. So as a result, my scales are also balanced. Well done, everyone. Yep, yeah, well done. Now. Uh, because we're all tied, uh, we need to look at who will be first in turn order uh, at this point on. We will now look at the individual Ankh values. Uh, Shrey has an Ankh value of 5. Uh, and then, uh, Edward, you have an Ankh value of 1. And I have an Ankh value of 0. So that will be the turn order uh, for the next four rounds. And there was much sadness in the land. <laughs> I, I don't think sadness means what you think it means. <laughs> So now these will come back. Yep. Uh, and now any, uh, like Edward said, any resources that we have uh, or, or any, any faith tokens used or unused would be going away as well as if we had any excess resources, those would also go away. Yep. Um, now the next thing that we do before we uh, deal with um, Lay dice. redrafting and, and so forth um, we uh, actually no no I am I am getting ahead of myself we we just yes we just need to put back the those destiny cards and redraft them and it is uh, Shrey your your first yeah um, so this happens before the dice right uh, you're asking such such detailed questions. <laughs> I, I have to look it, it up to double check. Hold I think, on. I think, I think it Let's does, see. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Determine balance of your scales. Use faith. Adjust the mat to marker. Lose victory points yes. for excessive taint, meaning here, but nobody had that. Determine the new player order. If the obelisk wheel is pointing at the lowest numbered still in play scoring marker, score it. Clear the scales and return the faith token. So actually we do that. Uh, we clear the scales. Correct. Back into the uh, bag. So I will do yep. that here. So, and right, obviously so. Anubis dice are included in that as yep. well. But but we do we do draft. Or I mean yes, we do draft the the new. Uh, By the way, destiny cards before we roll. All of that is back here on the back of the uh, play of the uh, rule book as well. Okay. Yep. All right. Yes, we will have a. Uh, uh, how do you say that, Rainer? Tawantin Suyu? Uh, obviously, yes, we will be streaming that as well. Yes, John. Okay. 
Apparently a lot of people are ordering this all of a sudden. That's weird. I can't imagine why. All right, yeah. cool. All right, so uh, so in right. player yeah. order, so Shrey, so we're going anti-clockwise now, okay? Yeah, I, I uh, it's either a scribe or a gold. The scribe would be nice to be a table to take Anubis, but I think I need the, the wild resource. I'm taking the gold. Okay, by the way, um, Something that I kind of alluded to in my pointing earlier was that he actually, I, I was thinking he had a score of seven. The five onk trumps any number regardless, so it doesn't, so it's just five. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, here. He has the gold, so we're going to just leave this one here because it doesn't matter because he has the five on that. So, for us, uh, having another scribe would be awesome. Uh, because, again, same thing, to be able to take the Anubis action. I have one scribe. Uh, I keep, you know, complaining and whining about population and happiness. But to be honest with you, the flexibility that that gives, I think, is going to be more important. So I will lose a tiebreaker by doing it, but it's still worth it to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take the scribe. Sir? All right, I will take uh, that number two one, uh, right. and I will increase my happiness by one. I'm shocked, said no one ever. <laughs> All right, so you I mean, get the two. I, I just need at some point during the game, take a number six Hathor action, and I have at least maxed out my, my population, so. Wait, 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 Raider, did, right. you, did you want to bump up happiness or population? Population. Oh, okay. So, All right. So, so it should be at 15. Oh, population. I apologize. Sorry. I. Yep. My bad. My bad. Okay. All right. Next. Now. 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 Dice come out. Now we draw the dice. Yes. All right. And. And again, uh, in the newly shaded area, so Hathor and Osiris. There you go. So the middle areas. All right. The ones in between the yeah the newly shaded areas. All right. So we have a three-two-two two over here, and I will go back through. And four, three, two, respectively, as well. All right, so we'll start up north. So up north says white are purity dice. And then, uh, let's see, the black and brown are there. So the gray stay tainted. All right, so then moving clockwise, that becomes a pure die. And then all of these are, oops, are tainted dice there. And we'll do them. There we go, just to keep them consistent. Then over here, that stays tainted. Here, uh, both of these are tainted. Over here, black is now tainted. Yellow and brown are all pure. And over here, we have white, and that remains. So there we go. And the bag has some extra dice for the next round, obviously. And we are ready to rock and roll, starting with the first player, Shrey, it is your honor. Right. Um, so, just double checking. Yep. We we pay for our building bread during the during scoring. scoring. Okay. Correct. So, so twice, in twice two eight. more at the end of this right. set. So after you've drafted four dice. Yep. Right. Right. Do I have those okay. in the right spot? Yeah. Okay. You do. Okay. Yes. All right, just checking. All right, and everybody at home, are you guys able to uh, follow along? Is everything making sense? Um, and my lack of a strategy, everything making sense for you guys? I'm trying to stall for you, Shrey. I'm, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and say no. <laughs> okay, no, well, just in general, do... are they able to follow along as to what we're doing, if not the why? Since I had this wonderful card, I will use it. So it the... Um... The blessing card that I picked up at the okay. end of the last round. Yep. So I'm going to take the um, this the yellow four in Osiris. Okay. And take use it for Papyrus, not for the god. Yep. Okay. Mm. It still goes over uh, yep. onto his purity side because right. that's where it was. But he's now going to go ahead and take it per what? Uh, so you're taking four. How many yep. he can keep, however, is wherever his papyrus marker is, which happens to be at four. So he's going to grab four papyrus. Okay, right. continue. 
And, and, and then, even though you, Edward, have a statue there, you do not get the benefit because he's collecting resources, which not is actually. totally. I, I I knew that. I just I was going to glaze over that, but yeah, I'm, right. I'm I'm very I'm broken up about that. Sorry. I don't think I hate <laughs> you both. I hate you both. It's strong the hate with this one. All right. Okay. Then and then and then since I use my blessing, I will which get is to do there. I will de decrease my happiness and population by one. So down to six and eight. For wait a minute. The the the, the card is I have to decrease my happiness and population. Oh yeah um, yeah yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So my bad. You're yeah. You're a hundred percent right. So when we get over here, right? Okay. So yeah. he does both of those, which is what he's talking about. I apologize. So there, and there, and then he gets to actually do the opposite action, which is. This one, which is opposite where he took the die, that was a right. four-value die, sir. And now, please take back over. Right, and because because I have the tech card that says I get a bread before when I perform a Hathor, I will get I will have three bread at the beginning of this. So I will um, build a building on um, Y three Y um, Y two Y two right here. I don't know because I don't give a darn. Okay. Oh, so you know, what? let's let's actually do Y four. I think that'll be that'll be the better one. For okay. Me. So one, two, three, four. All right. So up here. Okay. Yes. And then you're going to get one resource for across that row. So one so bread, granite. Bread, limestone, a papyrus, and a faith. All right. I. Got you all of those. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next. And then, uh, if I had a pillar there, I would get three points, which I don't. And but I do get four bumps on population, so which would take it up to 12. population. One, yes. two, three, and that puts you at twelve. Yes. Right. So that is my turn. Okay. Very nice. <sighs> Show off. Um. Okay, so at the end of these four actions, I'm going to, as of right now, I will need two bread, Shrey will need two bread, and uh, Rainer will need one bread, provided uh, that you don't, you care about points. Um, <laughs> so I had a plan. Oh, right, yeah, let's, uh, let's stay on target, shall we? All right, so I will go ahead and actually do my plan now. So we're going to do something for the first time, which is going to be the raw action, all right, which is going to be a b building a base and a pillar over here. So we take a look at that. I'm going to choose the white purity die, all right, so the four that will come over here onto the purity side, okay? All right, so now the four says I can take this base here. It requires three limestone and one uh, granite. So I have four limestone and one granite. There we go. Then I will grab this and then I get to place it over here somewhere of my choice. Now let's go ahead again, since this is the first time we're doing this, let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit in detail. So now where I place it matters. Right now it's a matter of I could place it, say, up here in the corner, and that would get me two points because it's going to match the green on this side of the side of the tile and a blue on that side, right? Or I could do something like that or whatever. But in addition to that, I'm going so that to... Be, sorry, would that be four points because it's matching two sides or is it uh, just... Because of the corner space, yeah. Yeah. It, it would be four points. Four points. So two... Yeah, four, okay, good. Uh, so, hold on. Uh, why would it be? Because the corner spaces double the they rewards do. that you get right. for the edge colors. There two for green, two for blue. Right. Yep. So plus one for each side that it matches. Right. So there you go. Yep. Uh, so that'd be four points. Four points is nothing to sneeze at. That's legit. But I think we need resources. Uh, I think we need resources more than anything. I did take one too many limestone, I think. So... It's three limestone. Um, okay, there, I got it back. So 
Now, if I want to be able to build statues, I need granite, right? And so I'm thinking that we go ahead and build covering a granite. Now the question is, which one? Uh, so there or there. And honestly, I think we'll go ahead and build it right there. So then I put a pillar on it. Well, in a minute. One other thing we need to talk about is this is a white interior, right? It's the white center area. And you'll notice that the area where I took the die is in the light, i.e. it's a white area as I'm pointing at right here, right? So therefore, because it matches that color specifically, it's not one of the gray or the, uh, or the dark side. I get to activate what is in the center, which is I get to grab an in-game scoring card or a, a uh, decree card, okay? And I get to score two points because I took that tile as well. So instead of me having to reach, continue. In effect, you're going to get three points total because you also get one point for the orange building that is lined up with your pillar tile. That's, okay, so we probably ought to run through it in order. I apologize. So here we go. Let's try that again. All right, so here we go. Get points for buildings that are built in that area. So here, nothing there and one here, because remember, these are out of play, right? Uh, I would have also gotten, I would have gotten zero had I placed it there. So it makes sense to have done that. Then I uh, will score points for any sides matching. Well, obviously, none match right now. And then I get whatever I covered. So I will go ahead and grab my two uh, granite. So there, done. And then I get to do whatever is in the center because it matches the color. So I'm going to grab a decree. The decree says, oh, wrong one, uh, that. So here we go. Uh, gain 10 victory points if you are the first in turn order or five if you are second at the end of the game. Okay. So ending in, you know, but the guys don't know that I have this. So there you go. Okay, cool. And also, I do want to point out that different symbols. And I, ha, different symbols. So I can actually score both of these conceivably. Okay. All right, cool. There we go. You should have one more victory point as well on the, on the oh, track. Oh, I only got two, two, two for there, the tile. And, and one more for the Oh, no. Go on top. Like so. Boom. Yep. All right. Done. My turn oh, is just, just take longer. We just need to re so. refill that, uh, that tile. Oh, I do. Slide, the, and slide the down arrows and... show that it slides to the right. The electric. And then we will grab off the top. And it's another white area, which is three population. If it triggers during this or the next uh, round, if you will. All right, cool. I, I am so happy that no one took the die that I wanted. We're team players, right? So, uh, sorry? We're, we're team players. Yeah, of course. I'm going to take that brown uh, pure two in the Osiris action area. And uh, you're going to get two happiness, because unlike Shrey, who's obviously not a team player, then I'm going to actually take that action, not all just right. tease so, uh, you. All right, one, th one thing at a time. Which die? I'm sorry. The two. All right, so taking the two from the purity side there, which triggers mm -hmm. this, which says I get two happiness. Yep. Finally. All right, good. All right, go for it. And then I will take the leftmost building from my player board, and I'm going to place it on the two, uh, on, on the bread spot along the number two row. All right, so, so one bread give me... and up a row. Yep. That will give me one bread production. I will get one bread resource. And I will also take that one gold resource. So much for being a team player. That was on the left side of that row. There's that. All right. And that cost me one happiness. So my happiness is down to nine. Uh, there you go. Because of that. Yep. All right. Cool. And that is my turn. Yeah. Yep. I'm looking at an option that I'm not thrilled with. 
Um, but I might do it anyway. Um, or I could do that instead. Hmm. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to take the that uh, the brown five in Bastet. All right. And that is and, a tainted die. All right. Right. So I will pay two um, papyrus. So you're, uh, that was a five. So it's going to be five happiness for yep. purple up to 11. And done. Yep. Unless and there was. Papyrus. Yep, that's it. All right, cool. Ah, you guys are going too quick. Um, hmm. All right, so, I mean, that was that was my big thing was doing that. That's as far mm -hmm. as I'd gotten. Um, so apparently I couldn't count limestone. Apparently I still have one. So I have two. I have two granite and a limestone and two bread. Still have no papyrus. If I built buildings that would allow me to grab a bunch of resources. So that is three bread, which I have exactly two. So two bread would get me, you know what, actually? Yeah. I feel like taking a die for the resources feels so wasteful. It's because again, you only have 16 actions, right? Um, it's like collecting cocoa and Kyoto Wakan. Right, it, right. It's just, it's, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I want to... Okay. I need granite. The ways I can get granite are I could take a... Black dye to grab granite, Blech. that doesn't feel nearly as good. And so I think what I want to do is I could build a building which would potentially give me a granite, but I'm one bread short because I can only build on the ends which would get me one granite or one granite. It would also get me a limestone. Why can't I get a granite and a bread? But unfortunately, no dice. The other thing is I could come down here and do that. But again, why did I bother building the statue if that were the case, right? I hate it. Fine, I will come up here and I will do a Hathor action. I hate it, though. You can always go to Rome yourself. Then yeah, I know. <laughs> so, fine. Two bread there. And I will go ahead and take... It's going to be one of the tainted dice. So, I'll go ahead and grab the tainted three because it's close to the four. There. It's I also will... going to give you more population. And it's going to get me more population. I mean, the six would be great. Oh, why not? <laughs> Let's go big. So, six population will go to 11 there. And then I'm going to spend the two bread, which I just did. I will grab a building. I need granite. I really want... I, I am playing terribly here. But that gives me a faith at least. Yeah. We'll go ahead and place it here. So that's going to get me a faith a limestone and a granite. Yeah. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Done. Because I'm terrible. I'm a horrible, horrible Tekenu player. But I'm having fun, ultimately. All right, Orange, come on. Rainer, what you got? Um. Well, I am also going to construct a building not happy that you took the six because that's really what i wanted 
but not so unhappy that I'm going to spend my two scribes on it, am I? <laughs> uh, okay, Jay, while you're thinking here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, take your time. JJ asks, is the obelisk in my way? I guess a little bit, but to be honest with you, the only thing that it's actually blocking for me is I can't see... I have to do this and I have to do this to see all of the uh, uh, the colors for placing die dice. Other than that, it it's not bothering me in the least. So, plus once it's painted, it's gonna look really cool. And so no, it's it's yeah, it's not bad. I am going to take that black three all right uh from the hathor action area i'm going to spend both of my scribes oh and this is going to become a level s or a number yeah value six die that goes on the tainted side of my and it's it's worth noting that when you're spending the scribes that physically physically changes the value of the die it so does. I actually have a two six i will be spending two bread Oh, because, um, yeah, never mind, because that's uh, from, so technically you're using one to move it to a five and then the other to move it to a six. To move it to a six, yep. Got it, okay, got it, okay. So I'm spending those uh, two bread and I'm going to place the building on the Y1 space. All right, and Y1 going there. So it's going to be a papyrus, a bread, and a faith. A papyrus. Correct. Bread and a faith. And then that is possibly the last Hathor action I'm taking in the game because now my population will be at 21. <sighs> so gross. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, gross. And that's. That's my turn. Well, okay. And Eric asks, uh, or JJ, or somebody, who is it? Michelle asks, uh, why didn't I go to Y2? Um, the, I, I, I would have loved to have gone like there but or something, but I can't. It was one more bread than I had. And the reason I didn't go here it, to get the bread is I would have had to have spent the two bread. Now, all of a sudden, I have one bread, which doesn't do me a whole lot of good. I am going to need to get a couple of bread on one of my last two actions because I now have four buildings out. So, there you go. All right. And we rotate the obelisk again. Thank you. Yep. You see me rolling. All right. There. And now add dice. We will go ahead and do Horus first. Uh. All right. I was thinking about my turn and the position of the dice where they were. Now, now yeah, changing. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah. Plan. Oh. Yes. There is that. And now, best it. There we go. Five, four, three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That works. All right. So, we'll start again at Ra and work our way clockwise. So that didn't change. Ra doesn't because it's still in the white. So here, uh, that is unavailable and or um, forbidden, forbidden to use the correct terminology and then we have that as pure those as tainted there we go then here we have uh, ah done and then over here and all I'm doing is I'm looking at I suppose I could show you guys this a little bit better so I'm just looking at the chart right here. So here, that should go to tainted, that should go to pure. And then over on this side, see, and it's kind of from the same angle where I'm looking over here. So we see that that is going to be tainted and that is going to be pure. And it just barely blocks uh, the black one, but I, you can see a, the corner of it, which is exactly how I can see that. So we also have that, we have that and we have that okay all right and and to be to be fair once you've uh, once you've played it a couple of times 
knowing what's you 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 quickly it becomes learn. second nature i'm yeah. just not there yet so there you go also uh you know what actually i'll show this as well so this just pops out like that and once you know it you actually can play with that side just for a little bit cleaner presentation but yep. i figure i wanted to show it for plus i don't have it memorized yet and let me get that back in come on be nice. It's right in here. So I knew I was going to do that when I did that. There we go. Done. All right. Cool. Uh, so first player is purple. Yes. Um, I wish some of these. I, I oh, I don't want to lose VPs because my I'm out of out of balance. But uh, I mean, mm. if you're going to be out of balance, go away. Go, <laughs> lean into it hard. Embrace the taint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's ah! one way to put it. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm going to take the, um, the brown five in Thoth. All right. Yes. All right. So that is on the tainted side. So there we go. That's 10, four to 10 right now yeah. over there. Okay. And I will spend th my three papyrus. Um, uh, checks out. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is right. Okay, three yep. papyrus. There. Okay. And in fact, you must, as Rainer said. Yep. Yep. And uh, as much as I would love that white, this the blessing, the second blessing in red. It's very nice. I actually will go in the green area, and I'll take the first, second, and fourth cards in the green area. All right. So endgame scoring card. And there, and then you said the first and second. So, if I was, I, I, yeah. Yep. So much to do and so little time. I know, right? Yeah. There, I'll go and put that there. So now we need to redraw. We'll go ahead and redraw the progress card first. All right, gain two victory points per statue and two per building around the temple complex. Really? Hmm. That doesn't interest me. Don't worry about it. All right. And then a tech card. When you perform the Osiris God action, gain two victory points. And I think you guys should do that early and often. I'm just saying. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I have a statue there. And, uh, ooh, just get an extra action. Any value? Well, it's not technically an, an extra oh, action. Oh, it's not. It just lets you spend that card instead of spending the two scribes. Two, two scribes. Do. Okay. Yep. Fine. Okay, that was my turn. All right, so we are in the white area. I have two, no, but to be able to do that works. So let's go ahead and now I'm just, we're going to take a Horus action. It's going to cost me three um, granite. So actually, I'll show you guys this first. Yeah. All right, so it's going to cost me three granite to be able to do this. I have three granite, so okay. That'll make the peanut gallery happy. So there we go, okay. It's gonna be worth three points here, all right. Now, on the Horus action, the question is, what die do we take? So we are currently at 10 on the, uh, to the good side. Um, so I'm leaning maybe towards the five. Now you can double up statues, can you not, in the same mm -hmm. area? Yep, absolutely. You just don't trigger the, the benefit more than once. You either have a statue or you don't. That's a bummer. I was hoping. I'm not going to lie. The other option, though, is... Huh. I, hmm, I don't know. There's a lot of dice over here in the Horus area. If I took the Horus action, it would give me Papyrus. Or if you guys took it. But I, I just don't think you guys are going to build much by way of statues. That's my big fear. Um, the, the other alternative, too, is that there's no, nothing wrong with going heavy on the pure side, right? You, at least you don't suffer any drawbacks. Any points, but, right. Um, yeah. And I do want it in honor of a god as opposed to down in any of the special locations. That helps with tiebreaker and everything, which I am going to need over here. But I won't with the others. But it doesn't get me endgame points. So, 
You know what? Let's go ahead. But then again, you guys are taking a lot of cards. Are you going to take more? I think you are. So you know what? Let's go ahead and grab, let's go and grab the six on the pure side. So yeah, we have decided to lean hard into the uh, purity side there. So the six, that means I'm going to build over here in Thoth. So that will come over there. I immediately get one scribe when I do so because three player game there. We're now at three scribes. You'd think those are worth end game points or something the way I'm collecting them. Uh, done, that's it. Well, I need to glory to Rome myself. All right. No, that's good news. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but I'm glad you think so. So why so? Um, so you remember how you remember how I previously took a three in the Hathor area and I Turned invested it into a six? two scribes. Yep, I do. I guess I wanted to max out that population track, completely forgetting about the fact that I have a technology that gives me a population every time that I take the Bastet action. Oh. Right. So, um, yeah, that's that's that simple. Um, I am going to... Let me see. I need to do some math here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the Tainted 4 in the Bastet action area. Okay. All right. So, Tainted 4. And I will be spending a Papyrus and a Gold. A papyrus and a gold, which is two papyrus in that case. Yep. And my happiness will increase by four, so I will be at 13. And I will also get one additional happiness because of my technology, as well as two victory points. And then I also get one scribe because I took the action with a value of four die. All right. Hmm. Okay, so this is my last action before scoring and and having to pay for my buildings, feeding. Um, Which I really you want need two, two have, bread, right? I really want two actions. Okay. I have one bread and I have I have some gold, so I can use the. Uh, True. Like, uh, but I really want to balance my scales, so I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to take that. Uh, that yellow five in Horus. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm building a statue after all. Hey, hey. All right, so yellow five, so you are close to balanced. Not yep. because of the color, just pit value. Okay. And I have to pay, was it four? That's four. Uh, for granite. granite. It is, my, because my it's your first card, one. Or my tech card lets me interchange the two. Um, I'm, I'm actually not going to build in that area. I'm going to build one for the people. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, here, I will show everybody your tech card here also. So your tech card is the one that lets you use limestone and granite yeah. interchangeably. And if you do, you get a point. So I'll go ahead right. and give you the point now. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to spend all four of my limestone and granite to do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, that statue is going to... I, I like putting it over there and like putting it over there. I'm going to put it on above the um, um, the papyrus and bread section of the um, of the building area. What is that called? Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Area. The workshops. Yeah, yeah the workshops yeah, over here. Yeah. So you're putting it Par here, which means you get the partially gold. Partially because if you placed it on the other side, though. He was going to get me raging at him if he did. I had it on the <laughs> tip of my tongue. Because but if you did, you, he would have cost me. Right four. now, you're 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 only yes, you're taking three points away from me, which I I applaud that, but you, it's also not giving you an additional uh, right. Strict. Right. But he I, also yeah. sees you as the competition and not me. I'm also just saying how much enjoyment there could be in giving Edward a hard time. <laughs> oh, Edward's right. doing a yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let Edward off of this one. <laughs> I appreciate it. I was, in other words, because remember, tiebreaker goes to whoever's highest up here. And I'm here, and I'm here. I already was losing 
fair, but I would have lost on both of those, so I would have lost six points, and I would have would have cried. Nobody wants to hear that. Well, put another mark on that board because that's a glory to Rome. <laughs> and let me have those three points, huh? Nope. All right. So that was uh, Shrey, so now it's back to me. I need bread so I don't lose points. So I have a couple of options for getting bread. Um, but unfortunately, man, I really hate the idea of just taking a die to get without. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to lose one happiness. And it gets us some points. Oh, but I, oh, you know what? Is it worth it to lose the bumps? So what I'm looking at is I'm going to take an Osiris action. So I'm going to lose a happiness down to three. So the question is, if I put the five here, I would get the two bread that I need. And this is my last action in which to be, oh, I need three bread if I do that, though. If I place a... Oh. And how many points am I going to lose? Three points per bread that you don't have, right, I think? Yep. But I will offset that by taking... No, I won't take it away because I'm still losing the tiebreaker. Ah! So if I place a building, I need three bread. Oh, that feels so bad. So the question is, do I take the three bread, which is one more than I need, or do I go ahead and place the five here, which doesn't really help me? I do have scribes, which can adjust it to, uh, say, I can't, it's one or two, right? So I could adjust it to a four, which would bump the papyri. I'm so bad at this. Fine. I'll just take the five so I don't have to pay it. So the five will go onto that. Let's just lean into the purity side <laughs> of things. I'll go ahead and place this out here and get my two bread. And I actually don't bump anything. I feel like I just, I, I've shamed myself. <laughs> Done. Well, I am also in some need of a bread. Um, oh, that's right. You only have one here. That's true. Yep. No gold. Um, but I feel like I should just ignore that. <laughs> but there are not really a lot of... Here's here's the problem. If I'm gonna think out loud out loud for a moment, I could, I mean, I could I could build another, I could add another building in the Osiris action area. Um, I support this. Not move. not super happy about. I I don't need more more buildings. Um, but that would give me the bread to make up that shortage. However, that does not give me the resources I need after the mod phase. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure that that's the best course of action. Of course, if I don't take the bread, I will lose three victory points. That's What's better, getting some victory points or... I hear the goal of the game is victory points. I don't know that that's entirely true. I thought the goal was to have fun or something. <laughs> Both, I guess. Yeah. Oh man, this is so difficult. Um, I love that you've played this this many times and you still agonize over that. So that's a good sign. Mm. I what what I, what I really want is I want the high value pure die, and and those are. Those are not exactly out oh, there. I, the so. oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, 
<laughs> I think you ought to build another building. I'm going to take the yellow three from the Bastet area. I am unfortunately only going to take resources with it. That's going to be three papyrus. Three papyrus. All right. There. So three papyrus it is. So foregoing yep. the bread. All right. Yep. All right. And now we rotate and yep. hey, looky here. And we balance our scales first. I am at negative four. Yay. <laughs> 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 so he's going back one point. Mm -hmm. I'm at a million pure. <laughs> so I'm somewhere over here. All right. Pretty much. And uh, Shrey, you're at uh, negative one, looks like. But I have, I have, a, I have three oh. faith that I can use to balance it out. Oh, so that's okay. right. You have two on your technology over here, plus that one. So, uh, yeah, so you're actually balanced. Well done. Like I said, that's the, that's the I go first technology. Pretty much. So here we go. So it's going to go first, second, and twelfth. Okay. Pretty much. Right. Okay. All right. All right let me throw now, those back into the bag real quick. Yep. And now we will actually have our mid-game scoring as well. There we go. All and, right. and it's it is important that technically oh. the oh. technically the scoring happens before oh. Hold we on. clear the dice. Hold that on doesn't once. matter. For mid game scoring, but it might matter for end game scoring because there are some uh, decrees that might allow you to score based on uh, the values of your dice and so forth at the end of the yep. game. Yep, and uh, yep, uh, that's a good point. Technically, you have two papyrus, sir, because you were capped at two, and that would have gone onto your taint side. One, one, one papyrus. Huh? It was, a, it was a value three die. Yeah, so one of them goes over onto your taint yes. side yep. right there. And right. that would have dropped you to negative four, and it's or negative four or five, but still only one point. So right. just, just clarity, you guys are 100% right. Well done, Andrew and John, for catching that. Peanut gallery is amazing, aren't they? They really are. They are. All right, lead us through it, sir. All right, so the first thing that we score uh, will be in the Osiris action area, and we're going to score each of these districts by counting uh, how many pieces, either buildings or statues, are in, in those. So uh, looking at the Papyrus workshops, Shrey, you have two of those, so you're going to get three points. In the next one, however, Edward, you have two of your buildings, so you're going to get those three points. Yep. And then, of course, Edward, you are uncontested for the final two, so a total of nine points for Edward. Three for Shrey. All right. So three and nine goes to 22. I'll enjoy it while it lasts. All right. Yep. And then we score uh, the temple complex. First, we are all going to score one point for each building or statue that we have along the outside of the temple complex. So that's going to be two points for Shrey for his two buildings, two points for me for my two buildings, and one point for you, Edward, for your building. Done. And blue then, gets four. Then uh, for every oh, pillar within the temple complex, you will get one point for each of your buildings or statues that are aligned with that pillar. Now, you do have a pillar, but your building is not aligned with it, so no points there. Yep, I know. Then we are going to score uh, on the populous track based on where our happiness marker is. And then again, as a reminder, it's three points for each of those uh, pyramid uh, markers on the 9, 13, and 16 uh, spaces. Uh, Shrey gets three points. I get six points. And they're not cumulative to point that out. Correct. So three for Shrey and six for the cheater. Okay. All right. And next we uh, look at our player boards now. And first we have to pay the upkeep for our buildings. And it looks like Edward, you owe three bread and Shrey and I each owe two. Yep. Now, and I'll, I'll show everybody have... just to be clear. So one, yep. two, three bread because I've built all those buildings. I have two bread and you must pay if you can, correct? No, you can, you can choose not to, but you lose three victory points. Right. So back three, one, two, three. And, and I also go back three because I only had one bread, one, even though two. I owed two. One, two, and three. And, and I owe two, but I'm going to spend a gold, sadly. But there I don't go. go back, so that's, that's... correct. 
Uh, no one has built enough buildings to get any victory points. Uh, and, I, and we should mention again that both the bread that you have to pay and the victory points that you might gain, those are all cumulative for this uh, building track. Uh, next, we look at the production tracks. And Edward, do you have capped out your uh, bread production? So that will be two victory points for you. Mm-hmm. And then uh, finally, we will score for statues that have been built, and both Shrey and Edward have built one statue each. <coughs> for... <coughs> you have built two statues. <coughs> you get three points, and Shrey gets one point. All right. Done. And now we just return our dice to the bag, and technically so forth. that would have done. Yes, you're right. So. All right, and we already rotated, so now three dice each for the newly yep. shaded. So we'll and we start also up. need to redraft the destiny cards. We do. Uh, so we do that before we roll. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, we do. That's right. That's right. So I will put those back into the bag. A moment. Getting ahead of myself. Sorry. There. And, and Shrey, you get first choice. So a scribe or a gold. Um, I had this, does it, this choice last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the gold again. All right. So that will just go away. And one gold for you. Got it. You're back to three gold, sir. Then I will take the scribe. All right. And there. And I will put that over here for you. Uh, man. Happiness or... I get that. One, two, three, four. Oh, yes. I will take the one happiness. I just figured this out. All right. So one happiness there. And I will take that one. So the one and three will hang out over here. Done. Now we will put the dice out. All right. I get. I gave Rainer a scribe. I just did it without it being on camera. Sorry about that. All right. So this is up top. So raw. So what's your happiness now at four? Uh, that... My happiness is at four. Yours yeah. is at 11. And uh, Rainer's is at 14. So now we will do Thoth. Yep. There we go. Five, three, and one. All right. So starting up here at Ra, it did change. So we have everything is available, but there we go. Uh, yellow and brown are pure yellow and brown so there everything else there we go then here pure and that stays this one goes pure then over here we're looking at purity and purity oops that was a three and these like so then here that stays uh tainted that goes tainted, and those are now unavailable there. And that's it, right? Make sure. Yep. Uh... Oh, John. Okay, never mind. He was anticipating what you were doing. All right, there you go. So those are the dice. All right, so we are now up to uh, Shrey, and we are just past the halfway point. But now it's going to speed up a little bit, in theory. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't looked. Let me look at these dice. Um, I do need to do that at some point. So, if you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumb down below. Certainly appreciate it. How many of y'all out there have either pre-ordered or thinking about pre-ordering this? I'm curious. This really does feel like an evolution of Daniel Tassini's Teotihuacan as far as mm -hmm. both from a, I don't want to say simplicity because this isn't a simple game, as you can tell by my inability to play well, um, but it's, it feels, it feels cleaner, I think, and I, I enjoyed Teo. Don't get me wrong. You know that, oh, right? Everything is so, oh man, I wish I had some limestone and some granite. Uh, I have some limestone for sale, uh, it, 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 for gold, though. 
Sorry. I, I think what you're saying too, though, Edward, is that the that that actions that the the act of playing the game in Teotihuacan is so simple. You move a worker, and then you you take an action. Right. But the actions themselves can be a little bit. Do th- something here, then you do something there, then you do right. Exactly. Whereas, Whereas here, this here, it became more difficult to absorb everything on your first play. Right. But the actions are also very self-contained. So I yes. think complexity-wise, they're 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 very much on par. Yes. But the 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 meat of of how you're playing the game is more aligned with. Um, the complexity of learning it <laughs> and, well. and from a selfish standpoint for streaming this i prefer this just because everything is self-contained right so yep. hey we're, we're we're gonna you know i can show you guys the obelisk here or i can show you just the osiris area like that that that's nice but on a from a a, a practical standpoint keep in mind shrey i'm stalling for you so from a practical standpoint also from actually playing the game it helps that I mean, obviously, I'm looking at my player board, I'm looking at my resources, I'm doing all that. But I'm also, if I'm looking, I'm looking in this area, and I can just focus on this stuff right here and not have to look here, and then I got to look up here, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it just, I, and it wasn't a graphic design issue with Teo. It's just, it's just the way the gameplay just feels a little bit more streamlined almost but mm-hmm. but the weight is still there by the way there are certain little easter eggs i don't want to ruin them for anybody out there but there are certain easter eggs in the in the graphic design um mm-hmm. that is an homage to other things did okay. that help Shrey? um it did all Thank right you. good um, <laughs> fill time so i'm gonna take fill the, time. I, I will i will take the only um brown dice in Osiris, or the only die in Osiris. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not just the only brown die. All right, tainted side, sir. All right. Tainted, and then I'm going to actually build a building. Woohoo! I know. Hold on one will. second. All right. And nice. then I lose, I lose a population because of it. So you, you can do. drop mine so, down also. Yep. Or one right, happiness. Sorry, happen, happiness. Happiness. Yep. I, 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 I moved the right piece. We're good. Yeah. All right. And I will build a building. I... I didn't like the fact that you got nine points without well for staring <laughs> at the end there. Um, it was just one of those things, Dad. Yeah, that that wasn't fun. Yeah, I disagree. So, oh, I could bump this with a with a scribe. You can, mm. and you have one scribe. Yes, sir. You know what? I'm going to do that. All right. So that okay. So again, it does physically move that. Yeah. So the scribe so goes away. Become... Did you want it a four or five, sir? I want a five or a okay. one or two. Well, he said bump, so I, I imagine. So I'm going to put it on the uh, limestone side. Okay, so limestone will go up two, and you get dos limestone All right? Yep. And I got my happiness. I am doubly happy. Woohoo! Because now I'm in the red area. Yay. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to be septuply happy. I hate you. So. I'm going to take that white five from yeah. the past and action area. I'm going to spend a Glory stride. Glory to Rome! I'm going to make I, it. I didn't think it was going to last, but I was like, oh, man. The reason I took that happiness one, just mm-hmm. not that anyone cares, is I had taken it, and it, I was here, and five is one, two, three, four, five. Would have put me in the green. Mm. Mm. Well... That, mm. that five with spending a scribe, which makes it a six, with my technology will bump me seven spaces on that track. And as John said, don't let me max out the track. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's so gross. So the reason, okay, so we got five or six for the die because he bumped it to a six. And then mm-hmm. his technology gives him... Another happiness. It would give him another population, but that goes away. It, that he's maxed, and then there, and he does not get anything for pinging on the population. I do want to point that out. Nope. But I do get two victory points from that technology. I well. get. I just gave it to you. Yeah. Yep. And then I do get the gold 
and the scribe from passing the spaces 16 and 19 and for getting to 21 i now get to take any action i want in the game now it's take um, the action not physically take the die correct correct and All i right. get to choose the value of the die that i want i can pick whatever so it's a virtual die if you will correct so here i'm going I'm, to because the gray I'm ones gonna, i'm gonna i'm gonna oh. i'm not gonna be greedy i i'm going to be very very shut kind up. shut up <laughs> no you're I'm not i'm gonna take a value one die i'm gonna use it in the thought action area and I'm going to take that second to last card, which gives me four victory points per marker that my happiness. <laughs> Very gracious of you. Yeah, so you are so kind to not be greedy to just take the one card. Oh. Yep. Oh. I mean, if I had if I had another resource, uh, you bet I would have taken that last card as well. But alas. <sighs> Yeah, exactly, Shrey. Yeah. I should I, I should have I don't know. I didn't want to spend the two gold to do that. Uh, I should have done it anyway. Yep. All right. So, here we go. We need to refill the progress card now here. And that is with the uh the cat on the top. Gain two victory points for leftover gold and one for leftover resource max of 20 victory points. Okay. So, if you have a ton of resources. <clears throat> All right. Cool. All right. Um, now, here's a question. Actually, John brings up a good point here, uh, Rainer. Now, mm -hmm. that was a virtual action down here in the Thoth area, right? That do is I correct. get the you, bonus? You absolutely do, because I took that action. All right, cool. So I get a scribe. So yeah, at least there's see? that. I, so nice. Oh, that. I stop with that. Stop. <laughs> uh, you're a terrible human being. Well done. I hate you, but well done. Um, okay. All right, so I definitely am looking to get, so let's see, I have two, we are currently in that. Happiness would be great, but not. So limestone and granite would be great in a perfect world. Um, oh, you know what, I'm in red. I have no papyrus. There is a one available. Yeah, I think this makes sense for me. Yeah, this makes sense. So I'm going to take a, a thoth. That is such a strange word for an American, for an English speaker to, to say thoth. Uh, so the thoth action here, I'm going to take the one because I have no papyrus. I would love to be able to do more, but I'm only going to take the one here, and that is on the tainted side, so there. And then, because my happiness marker is in the red, I will go ahead and take this technology. It says, whenever you perform a Horus God action, gain two points and a granite. That, that uh, seems... Which, again, you can take before performing the actual action. Right. So that's one less granite I'm going to need now. So that kind of made sense. All right. So mm -hmm. I'm going to grab that card and then we will refill it with the next technology, which is whenever you perform a god action, you can just have a scribe. It's an auto scribe, basically, is what that is for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I felt like that was that was at least decent, although. 16 actions, I just kind of wasted one just to be able to, but it gets me resources and points, so, uh -huh. okay, but, yeah. And I can use right, the Anubis um, action, there is that, yes. Okay, so I will take the, um, the yellow four in Ra okay. and use it to produce resources. All right, so that is Papyrus up here for that four that is going on the purity side. And that is four papyrus, which and the, you can hold all four. Yes. And at the same time, I'm going to use my um, my blessing card. Uh, whenever is, you produce resources, you get four bread. Yes, sir. All right. So, so and it's important that any any resources that you gain through any other means are not subject to your production limit. It's only the ones when you're actually taking the production action. Oh, and the value okay. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yep. again, I, I assume things are implied, but I shouldn't. So here, this card just says whenever you produce, you gain four bread. It doesn't say 
only if you have limit on this is what Rainer's saying. Right. So there right. we go. And that's 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 a one shot card. So yes, it is. So that goes away. Done. All right. So that was Shrey. All right, cheater, you're up. Um, I am going to. You know uh, I love you, Rainer. <laughs> I I know. Oh, this is this is so exciting. Oh God. Um. <laughs> no, I, I I don't have anything good to to do. Uh, to be honest, um, I what 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 I did earlier that was that was all the excitement that I that I really wanted. So that was that was I, pretty I'm, good, though. I I am now uh, set. Um, looking at my options, however, is that worth it? No, it's not. We are going to... We're absolutely going to do this. We're going to take that yellow 5 from the Thought Action Area. I'm going to produce mm -hmm. with it. That will take... It will give me 2, and I will put 3 on the Tainted side. All right, so hold on. You're really care this about is on... Hold on. This is Purity, right? Yep. Okay. So there. And so you're getting 5 Papyrus, 3 on the Correct. Tainted side, 2 for you. Okay. Correct. Got it. I'm a little slower than you. You know what you're doing. I don't. So sorry about that. One, two, three, and yep. two for the good side. Um, I should already. I should only have two papyrus because I spent the other ones previously when I took the best. Ah, uh, so you did. Special. So I should know. Yeah. Well, see, I knew you were going to take this. I was just trying to help you, man. I was one yeah. step ahead of you. I mean, clearly. Uh, that faith should have been spent earlier as well. That was that was Thank from you. last. Yep. Mod phase. Right. Uh, but otherwise, that is my action. All right. So my second action, I desperately need. I desperately need uh, granite. It really doesn't matter where I take it from. I can hold three. As far as uh, tainted versus uh, purity, so. Although it, you only have tainted granite dice to choose from. Yeah, it, it, fair, but I do have uh, scribes, so. Ah, I see. It would give me. I mean, I could, you know, whatever, but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think. Well, you know what? I only need two. It it's hard to justify just taking resources if you can also do it, get resources with an action. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend two scribes. So I can grab a die from anywhere. And uh, I think we are I mean it just makes sense to do it. So I'm going to grab yeah, I'm going, uh, which one do I want to mess with? I guess I would just go ahead and grab uh, that five, and I'm going to take an Osiris action. I seem to, every game, I seem to live down here. So mm -hmm. that is going to be from the tainted side, technically. So that's Although, my... because you're doing an Anubis action, it goes on. Uh, it goes below, thank you, because it's an Anubis, mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to grab one of my buildings, so that's now four bread. Because let's just lean into it, right? And, oh. And that is, it can be, do you change that to any value? Or is it only? No, it, it, it stays it the stay, value. It that stays it the value, right? So I can't yeah. make it the six, which would be well, better. Could but take a six instead if you wanted to. But there are no sixes. Oh, there a, is a six. There's the yellow six. There is. Oh, let's do that. I like that better. Check that. Take the last six, and that'll come down for the Anubis action. And that yep. will actually be one better than that. So I'm going to grab two granite. I will go up three steps on the granite. Mm -hmm. And might as well peg that there, and I'll grab my two granite. I mean, it's points, right? Yep. Yo, dog, yep. I hear those are important. All right, yeah. so that is our second one. We rotate. And and refill. All right. 
So let's draw. Hey, Raphael. Welcome. All right, so we will do uh, Hath uh, Hathor first. Mm -hmm. So 531 over here. And we will do Osiris 532. By the way, for everybody watching right now, I think it's clear to everybody watching live. However, for anybody watching after the fact, I hope people understand that when we choose to do these live while we're playing remotely with the fellas, that these are going to take longer simply because I'm actually do physically having to do the things for three people and there's no way to shortcut that. So I appreciate everybody's understanding when it comes to, uh, when it comes to all of that. So thank you guys for that. Um, oops. So the black moves up to the purity side here on raw, and the gray fives stay in the middle. Then here we have tainted, tainted, and tainted. And then these guys are both pure. Just saying. Okay. Oh. I, I don't know what happened. Yeah. To I, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, let's see. That is unavailable now, and that is tainted. Then over here, uh, everything is tainted. Well, the black, as it were. And then over yonder, that again, we have those are un that doesn't change. There you go. Done. See? Done. Yep. Uh, my statue cost? Yeah, I can, I can go ahead and bring that over. Yeah. Oh, I did not pay my happiness. Thank you and for building that building. I knew I could do it and still stay in the red, so I wasn't worried about that there. And here you go. My statue costs are going to be two, two, three, and four, or one, one, two, and three, as mm -hmm. it were, because of my card right there. All right. So now right. we are back to Shrey. Yes, um, I am trying to decide if I should do, there's two things I want to do this round in the order might make a difference based on what you guys want to do, so. <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry about that. I just don't want you taking the other die that I want. I, I'm, I'm not going to. I will though. <laughs> Andrew, I like how the first thing we did was rush up the bread production track. Just so we could never produce bread. <laughs> Seems like. <laughs> yep, welcome to me playing Tekenu. Yes, that is so spot on. That is so funny and not wrong. All right, I think since it's the only die that's available, I'm going to take um, <laughs> this uh, gray four in Thoth. Wow, which okay. Is tainted. All right. It's, yeah. So you're at four to nine now. All right. And that was a and four, a, so paying two papyrus. It's a four, so I, I lose two papyrus. Okay. And I can take from the green, red, or uh, two cards from those. And I kind of do like the Anubis. Um, Without having mm, to pay the scribes? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially towards, like, in the last era, if you would, last four actions of the game, having that in your pocket, being able to take an Anubis action, is it could really be, be a big deal. But I'm, but I'm less interested in the other cards, so I'm getting two cards. I don't... I, um... Yeah, the, the limiter of having to pull from the same group, I like, actually, and it helps cut down a little bit on the AP. Yep. As far as, like, somebody earlier had mentioned, uh, Letters of Varex, I think, mentioned that he's like, man, I, 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 these can be overwhelming. But the fact that you can only pull from a certain group on a given yeah. action, I think helps with that. I didn't say it makes it easy. I said it, make, it helps with that. And at the same time, they're all so good, though. Oh, it's, you're right. Yeah. All right. You, yeah. At, at some point, you just sacrifice and be like, well... That's it. I'm not interested in that card anymore. So. And yes, okay, I'm so going I'm, to so my scribe for my bonus. I will take cards in the red area. I'll take cards two and four. All right. So this Good is uh, treated as if it were double color 
or any color, sorry, uh, different color, not, not any color. Um, yeah, all right, and uh, four, which is just a permanent uh, scribe. Yeah, so the, the, the blessing, they sort of do similar things. Uh, so I can modify the, the pip value yeah. by two, but the reason I took the blessing is because now I can grab a forbidden die, right? Uh, which I think is going to be more important. All right, so speaking of which, here's the new blessing. When producing resources, produce twice. Ah. So... When you take the Anubis action, you can mm -hmm. produce resources of any color, correct? Correct. Would that apply here? Yeah. And you, could you, you take would, different ones? No. You would ah. do that. You would repeat the I same knew the answer. Action. I was <laughs> just trying. Cuz And if that if that means that your production gives you uh, any excess resources as taint, then you get those again the second time but it, it it but they're individual actions so for instance if your track is at four and you gain five resources you would gain Correct. one tainted resource and four and then one tainted resource and four okay yep. cool all right and the tech card technology uh when you take a tainted die to perform a god action you may spend one scribe to also produce where was that earlier huh where <laughs> right. was that there's my bread card um, I'm now going to answer a question that was from several minutes ago, but I couldn't give the answer then because that would have given away what I'm going to do. I'm going to draft. John was asking how I'm going to get a scribe. Uh, I'm going to take the black. Go uh, to Rome. Moment. <laughs> By the way, um, we've hit the over <laughs> to glory to Rome's ago. Okay, so now. Go I'm for it. taking the black three from the raw action area. Guess what the other die was that, was that I wanted to take? Uh, the black three from the raw area? All right, black three, that is on the purity side. Yep. Okay. And I will be spending my gold as a limestone, then another limestone, and a granite. Uh, hold, hold, say that again. A gold? A so gold you're spending all as a limestone. Oh, sorry. No, those... you're only spending three of the... I got it. I got it. Yep. I see it. So here's what you're spending to be able to take the middle one right All there. Right. Okay, a moment. All right, yep. All right, so grabbing this one. Okay. And I'm going to place it in the 2-1 uh, location. Okay, so 2-1, so placing it right here. Correct, and I'm just going to face it 12 o'clock. Like right, that. and yep. the reason is because it matches colors right there. Correct. All right. Um, so I will get two victory points for uh, taking that middle tile. Because two right there. Okay. Yep. And then I get uh, two more victory points because it's lined up with my buildings. Here and here. So you're at four. Yep. And then I get one more victory point for matching the edge color. So that's a, for total, a of total of five. five. And now because that is a dark background i also get that one scribe and that, ability that triggers in matches the, dark. the color there and there and one scribe got it and that is my turn uh evan somebody in chat will be able to hook you up with that answer well done that was that was very well very well done i hate you just on principle but yeah <laughs> right um, and then we just need to slide down and refill the those tiles. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah, I, so I was there. I was really worried that Trey, you were gonna take that one. Ooh, two gold. So Came I out. was so happy that you did not. Yeah. Oh, well, by I the would... way, I do get one uh, papyrus as well because that's the space that I covered. Ah, yeah. good call. Right, and one papyrus right there. Yep. I was worried that uh, that that the that the thoth die would go away before. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which order. I, which order would have make, would have been better in the end. Um, okay, so a day late and a dollar short. Do I put it there? Uh, 
I have to. The question is, do I use a scribe? So I'm going to take the Horus action here. The only question is whether or not I'm going to use a scribe to change that. Huh. Up here, obviously. Um, to change that to a three is kind of tempting. Honestly, I think that's probably the, well. But it leaves me a little flexibility if I don't. Yeah, you know what? I am going to spend a scribe. So I will spend a scribe. I'm going to turn this tainted three, or turn to tainted one, sorry. Or I could change it to, no, we're going to change it to a three. Okay, so here, that will go over onto the tainted side for a total of four. And I will, with my bonus card, I will use one of the granite that I need, and I will spend one other granite, and I will get two points for doing this. I will grab, I'll show it to you guys. I, I, I feel like I should be zooming in better than I am, I'm sorry. So here... So that is what I got for my technology whenever I take a Horus action. It cost me two uh, granite, so I paid one and then I got one from the card. So really, I, you don't have to have two, even though I do, as, as we talked about. So then we're going to go ahead and place this as the three. We're going to place it down here into the basket area, and that will get me... Uh, whenever somebody takes one of those actions, I'm so glad we're doing so now that... Uh, uh, Rainer is pegged out. Um, there you go. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically uh, way, keeping it more family friendly, Evan. Um, the direct history of the Glory to Realms is what I was talking about, but yeah. All right. Um, John was asking if I could have taken the. So, so it's. It's probably no surprise that I do care about scribes in this game. I have I have an end game objective, and again, if you want to show that. Uh, Edward, the bottom yep. of my objectives. I, I will score victory points at the end of the game for having uh, leftover scribes. I did Oops. make a mistake early in the game where I spend one scribe too many, which is going to cost me three points at the end of the game. Um, building a statue in the thought action area, even though that would have given me a scribe early on, I did not have the resources for it. Uh, that would have required that I had four granite, and that was just not possible. Will would it be worth doing it now? I don't think so because I would need to collect the granite to take that action. Unless, of course, I take a card that allows me to not spend um, ones, but those are not out. Well, th there's one that is out um, on, on the higher level. So if I take that one, sure. Otherwise, no. And uh, thanks for the reminder, Eric. I get the uh, bonus right now. So it's a self-perpetuating thing to where... I could choose limestone or granite. I choose granite. Done. All right, so uh, we are at three dice. Now it is Shrey's honor. Um, yep, so I'm going to take the black two in raw. All right. Hey, Robert. And I, What's up? And I will use my technology to Here. adjust it by, by two up. So that's now four, so eight to nine there. And his tech, remember, he has a perma scribe, so basically for that ability. Okay. And uh, so we will build, we're building the middle, um, the middle tile. Okay. So here it's we go. It's going to cost so. me uh, four limestone. I have two, and I'm going to spend two gold for this. All right. So there and there. This is going to grab that one, which here. And where are we going to put it? By the way, whenever we went through all that scoring that Rainer went, uh, talked about and everything is all right here for that action. Um, I just didn't want to bounce the camera back and forth between them. So, okay, go ahead. Where are we placing it? Good, sir? Yeah. Um, hmm. So I'm there. just trying to decide. I mean, it's, it's either going to go on 3-3 uh, three, three or 3-4. Three, Okay, so uh, three, three or three, four. So it's going to be. The one question of is, these do I want the do I want the points now, or do I want the uh, the gold now? Uh, the gold is more useful, but um, I would argue that points are more useful <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the long run. <laughs> good, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so yeah, I'll put on the limestone. Okay, 
All right, so he's going to place it here. So now, again, going through the scoring here, you get one point per building. Uh, well, first, I get two points for the tile. Uh, thank you. The, so so yeah. two for the top. Yeah. For the tile that you took. Thank you. Yeah. And then two points for every building on here. So two, four points. So you're well, at one six, point. Uh, one, one point. One point. Ah, I... I know that I'm just saying the wrong words. So you're at four points total is what I meant. Yep. One point for every building, whether it's yours or someone else's, correct? Yep. Okay. So you're at four yep. points and then you would score one point for or edges that are orthogonally adjacent, which are none. And you get whatever the bonus is, which is two limestone. So it's going to be a total of four points and two limestone, and, sir. And I'll leave it at 12 o'clock, so... I, I, right, yeah. So, all right. So if somebody, now, if somebody were to place a building or a, a uh, foundation with a blue-red side, they would match both of those, right? So there you go. And all then right. slide, the, slide the tiles. Thank you. Glad somebody remembers that. Meaning you and Rainer. And you all need right. your pillar tile on that one as well. There, and I will. And that's the one we just drew. All right, and you are purple. And oh, you man. get, oh, you do not. So here's actually a really good time to explain that. So you'll notice here that it is a white background on the, uh, on the foundation. It is the black side. It does not match, so therefore does not get the three population as well. Okay? Cool. All right. Uh, Mr. Allfours. Well... I am going to take the brown three in the thought action area. Now, this is a forbidden die, but I have a technology that says that I can take those, and I'm going to treat it as a tainted die. Okay, so this three will go onto the tainted side. So now, for everyone at home, that's now six tainted, remember, because there are three papyrus there, and he's at way heavy, strong, uh, as yep. far as to the good. And Genway, have a good one. All right. Um, and then I'm spending two papyrus. And I will be taking two cards. All right. And, and sorry. Uh, yeah. Brain cramp, and I get a scribe. All right. So, yes, you Goth, do. Sorry, too many things going on at once on that. Spending two papyrus there mm -hmm. and two cards. All right, go for and it. And even though I have access to the entire yep. row here, um, I think and there's actually no doubt about this i'm going to take from the blue area and i, I get to take two cards mm -hmm. i will take the blessing uh, which allows me to I, I don't have to pay the resources and i'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that final um decree as well so that i can spend two gold at the end of the game to score one of my uh, mm -hmm. decrees a second time <gasps> Mm -hmm. That's gross. There we go. All right. Now I just need to have two gold at the end of the game, which that's not a given, but at least I have the card now and I can at least try. All right. So now we will put out a new blessing. The blessing is oh, when producing, you get four limestone. That's nice. And for the uh, decree, it, it <clears throat> gained three victory points per statue. Hmm. That's good for someone. I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Does that someone have a different symbol? Probably not. No. See? And there you go. There's a good example. I could only score one of those. So keep yep. that in mind because the symbol at the top. Hmm. All right. So uh, we're going to need... We don't need to feed yet, right? No. Okay. So, we're going to put out... Yeah, yeah, we will. I ideally would like a four. There are no fours on the board, are there? Not really. You're... So, I'm looking at everyone's dice now. Shrey is matched because he has two permanent uh, faith. So he's at eight to nine, so he's at nine to nine, so he's perfectly matched. Not gonna happen. 
So as long as I'm in sight of you to the good side, correct? <laughs> and um, I, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. And if you're I, way up if you're here just, at eight. OK, yeah, so. even if you're one or two negative, you'll still be. Yeah, within. Fine. All right. So I'm going to spend two scribes to take. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Oh, if you do. <laughs> yeah, oh. if you do that. Oh, then, yeah. I hate you so much. It, that's right. If I spend two scribes, it comes down here. Which would lose you just, it's one point, right? Yeah. I mean, again, only, only what's, what's the, the there's, there's no need to worry about points. <sighs> we're, we're playing for fun. Oh, I hate you so much. <sighs> nope, still going to do it. <laughs> I, I feel like it's too important. So uh, this is going to cost me, again, it's going to be two uh, granite, but I get one, so I actually only spend one granite there. And ideally, I would be able to take a three from somewhere, and I will. So I will go ahead and... I don't have a statue over here, so I will take this three. It will come down onto the Anubis action again. A three will allow me to place another statue there, which is the last one in a three-player game. I immediately get one of those things, which is going to be, again, it is going to be another granite. Might as well keep my granite engine going here. There mm -hmm. we go. So I will get that, and I will get two points. One of which I'm about to lose, but so be it. All right, and done. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, having two statues in the same area doesn't get you... Double the... Two. No, this will get me one granite. The yeah. reason I wanted yeah. to do that, though, was because I get the immediate one right now as well. So, in a sense, yeah. it gets me two, but yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Correct. All right, so we rotate. And... And we balance our scales. All right. So we just talked about this. Shrey is balanced. You are somewhere up there. I am negative four. So it cost me a point. But first, second, and first in our hearts. There we go. Anything else? That's it. Just draw, right? Okay. So yep. back into the bag. For the final time, these will be clearing off our boards. And I suppose you want me to clear these off. That would be very nice. All right, fine. All right. I mean, I, I'd come and do it myself, but <laughs> it would take a moment. All right, so we will go ahead and do best at first. So five, three, one. And then we will do Horus, the heresy. So let me choose the good ones. Oh, there. Oh, no, I lost one of them. Ah, I'm kidding because I can't see in the bag, but... There we go. Six, four, and one. All right, so starting with raw, those stay tainted. And over here, we have unavailable and unavailable. And then we have there and tainted. Then here, both of, the, uh, check that. There we go, like so. Let me, oh, done. And here we are at, let's see. That is unavailable. That goes here. And the black is unavailable as well. Okay. Then up so many yonder. So tainted dice. Sorry? I said so many tainted dice. Everywhere. There really are, aren't there? So yellow and brown are pure. Brown, I said. And then uh, everything else is tainted. Everything is tainted, yep. isn't it? Wow. Yep. Yeah, everything is. There, 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 and there. So, again, I keep forgetting to switch to this one, so. All right. The uh, yellow three in Osiris should be tainted. Uh, yep. Yellow three in Osiris should be tainted. Thank you. And that's why we do this, right? So you guys can verify. There we go. All right, good. 
Yeah. yeah, exactly. Han says, I hate you so much. Saying that multiple times should be a good game. Exactly, right? All right. Uh, so we are now going anti-clockwise. So, Shrey, it is your honor, good sir. Right. Yeah, there are not a lot of, there's literally two pure dice right now. Yeah. Uh, wow, yeah. Um, if only you had scribes. Or cards that allowed you to take forbidden ones. Yeah, right, and I could do that, and I could make a different color, but... Um, there was no need to Although you, that you, you still, Yeah, you still have that, that card, so... Right. Um, he does, I don't right have, here. I don't have the resources I need to do what I would want. I hate grabbing more resources as an action. Uh, but I might do it anyway. Better grabbing resources as an action than grabbing resources as an inaction. Hmm? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I appreciate uh -huh. it, Andrew. Good looking out. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think, even though I yeah, don't, I, I really don't want to do that, but I think I have to. I have right. no plans. Okay, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, oh, I can't do yeah. that. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take the five tainted um, Horus uh, oh. for, for Limestone. All right. Well, so that will go away to tainted on yours. And it is Limestone. You can keep four of it, and one will come over onto the tainted side which gives you six tainted now, so four limestone, which gives you a total of six limestone, good sir. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is I want to build the statue over in Bastet. I can't. So I need to be able to build two statues in a perfect world. So that's two actions. I need, so I know what my four actions need to be, actually. It's just a matter of... the reason why you can't is because there are no spaces left there. Right, yeah, because this one's not available in a uh, three-player game. Understood, Michelle. Good looking out. Um, okay. So let me, let me think about this. So if I... I also want to try and anticipate what you fools are going to do. <laughs> um, we have no plans. I don't need that. I need. Oh, right. It was to be able to do that. Okay. So here, I'll I'll th I'll, I'll speak out loud and hope my uh, my fellow compatriots do not uh, use it against me. But my four actions are: build the statue, build the statue, get bread, get granite. Those are the four actions, as I see it, that I need to do. Because I'm going to need four bread, which as long as I get resources, I can get six. If I get resources, I can get up to six. So we're good on that. Now I just need cooperating dice. Well, there is a black six over here. So if I were to take that right now for granted, that would give me six resources. So that's great. However, I, that is the only high value die brown that I need. And I need f at least four bread so I don't lose any points. However, I need a scribe to be able to adjust that. Um, I'm sorry. I need... No, I don't. Actually, oh, wait, I don't. Hold on. In a perfect world, I would be able to build a statue first from somewhere that I anticipate these guys taking a die from to then be able to help myself, right? I also would love to be able to grab one of these, but I'm not going to be able to do happiness. Um, and do everything else I want, and I think it's more important to be able to build my statues. I need granite. I have to be able to build statues. I'm going to take this six and go ahead and put it on the tainted side, and that's going to be six granite, which is overkill, but I needed seven. I needed five, so so be it. Done. I'm just checking. There's a 
it's a gold resource that I have over there, right? It is. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Yes, I'm Andrew. going to. T I'm going to take this tainted five. One of them. Uh, how about the middle one from the raw action area? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So not this one, not that one, but this one. All right. Got yeah. it. Okay. Good thing. There. I will be using uh, my blessing. I don't have to pay the resources when I take this action. I uh, will right. be taking. So, okay. So the raw action, right? So yep. this one, so because Correct. of the blessing as a one-time use, going to take yep. that. That's going to be worth three points when we do so. Okay. Uh, and I will be placing it in the middle on the hey gold spot. Get out of there. <laughs> uh, placing it on the gold, you said? Yep. So you will get, uh, oh, hey, coincidentally, that gives him two gold. I'm shocked. Shocked, I say. Yep. There. And um, no side matches, so I don't think it really matters what direction. That is correct. So there uh, we go. I, I will just, yep, just leave it like that. And then um, I do, so I get three points for taking that tile. Uh, tile. Yep. I get one point because it lines up with one of Shrey's buildings. So that's four points total. No matches for the edge colors. I got and the gold, but I do get to trigger that ability. All right, so oh, a moment. How... Four points. One, yeah. two, three, and four. Hold on one second so I don't forget. We're going to refill that, which is another endgame yep. card, which if it's built now, you can use the center. Just pointing that out. And now, go ahead. Yes. Continue. So I get to take a card from somewhere. Basically, I get to take the thought action uh, as if I had a value one die. So you're going to uh, get a scribe. You betcha. As a thank you. Uh, and I'm going to take from the yellow area, I'm going to take that uh, second card. That Which gives you two scribes. I hate you so bad. That's so good. Well done. Well done. Mm -hmm. And when producing resources, you get three extra gold. All right. There we go. Oh, that would have been good. But I, well, I, I think the, 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 the extra six points for the scribes, I think you're fine. Don't get greedy. Don't yep. get greedy. No, I'm... And, and again, this, this answered John's question from earlier. How, how will I get my scribes and so forth? But now, <laughs> now we're, we're in a good place. All right. Shrey, your honor, sir. Right. There's... Oh, I, I could treat this as anything, right? Uh, so I'm looking at the new tile that showed up, and it is basically a, a, a end game scoring. Uh, yeah, mystery card, meter off the top of the deck. Yep. Which this late in the game doesn't feel like a good idea because it might just be something that doesn't work. Um, I could look at it and tell you. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the one that matches. It, it, it will be good. It will be a very good. Mm, you guarantee it? I absolutely guarantee it. Mm -hmm. I think I'll hold off. Mm. As much Thank as, you. Uh, yeah. Um, I put them up here so I wouldn't forget them, and I keep forgetting them. Uh, <sighs> One job. I know. One job. So instead, I will take the... Um, do I do this now? Uh, yes. Okay. So that will become, I'm just, uh, so I'm going to take the yellow five in Hathor using my blessing. Oh, uh, uh, yellow, that, oh, using the blessing, which says when taking a die. Change it to any color, uh, or treat it as F is any color, and I can do a plus or a minus one. Which I would argue you could do a plus or minus three. Right. Just saying, unless, because he has the produce. attack. Right. Right. And, uh, yeah. So I'm, so I'm, I'm going to build a building. Okay, uh, so, and you said this is going to be pure or tainted. That's what I need to figure out, whether it should be pure or tainted. It seems like it should be pure, but I don't know if... Embrace the taint. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it pure. Okay, um, done, all right. And we'll make it a six, because All right, why and it not? changes to a six. Well, now you're tied six, six, right? So just yeah. FYI, because don't forget, you have the one uh, limestone extra over there. Okay. So the question is, where do I want to put this building? Um, if I put it 
where I have pillar, which I can't do. And um, it's going to cost you some amount of bread, and you're going to need three bread at the end of the game as of right now, after placing this. Right. So okay. I will pay... I think I'll pay three. Okay. Ick. <laughs> Four, four. No, I can't pay for this. Way too much. Oh, I'm, I'll be getting a bread back. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, I'll pay four. All right, so putting it in the center, I assume, then? Yep. All right, so this will go there. So you get uh, one, of, uh, one of every resource that's shown. So you get a limestone, you get a bread, and a papyrus. Papyrus? A bread and a limestone. Even for the ones that show two, remember, you only get one. You have limestone coming out of your wazoo, sir. You have seven of them. Yep. And then uh, for every pillar in your color, you get three points. Womp womp. Yeah. And then you increase your population based on the pit value, which is going to be six. You are purple. That puts you at 18, good sir. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right. So it is yours truly's turn. And one, two, or four. While you're thinking, I'm just going to uh, answer yeah. John's question. Sure. Yeah, yeah, please. So, uh, John, I cannot take that one in the Bastet area. As much as I would like to get the two scribes, I would need to have to papyrus. So even though I can't increase my happiness any further, I would still need to have the two papyrus in order to take that action. I cannot simply take uh, a one or two to get the two scribes. So you, you do have going two to gold that. that you could use, not that you yes. need for anything else. But <laughs> However, I, I count them as being uh, 20 points, so I'm not, <laughs> not going not, not, not gonna to spend those. All right, so I have decided, so it cost me three to build, which is really only two for me. So I'm going to spend two of my granite, which is going to give me two points. Woot, 30. I am going to, obviously, I'm going over here to the Horus action, and I'm going to go ahead and take the tainted, ooh, that's actually a fair point, isn't it? Mm. Gold, yeah, gold counts as bread as well, right? as far as eating it. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take the, oh, wait, 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 this is on the tainted side. Easy, easy killer. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take the tainted one. That actually works out to my benefit. Yeah, I'll take the tainted one because that's going to give me three faith, which is but you know what? I'm going to put the faith in the middle of my uh, scales here so I remember that. And so uh, taking the one, that means I'm going to build this up here on the raw area, up here. There we go. And I got my faith, faith, faith. Got to have. Okay, done. I am going to take the brown five from the Osiris area. And again, I can do that because of my technology. I'm going to treat it as a pure die, and I'm going to produce bread with it. All right, so here, pure side, there, getting bread, which is going to give you three bread. Keep in mind, I do not get my bonus for that now. So it gives you three bread and two on the tainted side. Correct. So that you're and now 5-7. To no one's surprise, going to use my blessing to also, because I'm producing, collect two scribes. I mean, if you think that's important, whatever. And the blessing now goes away. Yep. All right. And Shrey, your penultimate action, sir. Uh, no, we rotate now, right? Oh, thank you. Yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. There, and dice come out. Sorry. Getting, it, getting excited because I know what I'm doing the rest of the game. So my bad, my bad. All right, so we'll do raw first. Six and five. Wait, uh, should be three dice for... for uh, I know, I just... You passed. I was just checking. In two. Sorry. And uh, Thoth will be five, two, and one. 
All right, so for raw, let's see, everything that yellow and brown are pure, right? Yep, yellow and brown are pure, so everything that came out there, those stay tainted. These, we have, these don't change over here. That is unavailable now, and, well, for some of us. Uh, pure and tainted there. Again, I keep forgetting to do this. That white dye is also uh, unavailable. Yep, you're right. There we go. So now here, looking at this, yellow and brown. Good. There, done. Then here, white would be pure. There are none. So this, and that stays, because, right. And then here, that goes up, and that stays there. Feeny. Okay? All right. Now, as I said, Trey, <laughs> penultimate action, sir. Oh, I use this. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, two things I want to do. Well, I actually want to do three things. Can I do three things instead? Um, this one mm. time? <laughs> Mm, so I'm I'm not. It's unfortunate. I never made it to the blue area on the happiness track. So I, I never made it to the green, and I really wanted to get up there. I don't. Think I'm just gonna be quiet. Probably probably should. That'd be good. Um, okay. Uh, instead, let's just build a statue to start with. So I am pretty bound. I'm exactly balanced right now. So what I want. Let's take that, so it is shaded. So I want a shaded die to get the gold. So I'll take the, um, the five, the brown five in raw. And we're right, gonna make the that brown up. five in raw, okay. And that is pure, so I'll make it a four with my, um, with my 10. Your auto scribe, right? So it's yeah. a pure four, you're at 10 to six now, okay. And so it is a four and I'll build that uh, middle tile all right, so this is going to cost you, uh, well, again, you have the, the tech that it's interchangeable, so just Although spending all, all four of your limestone, limestone right? So yeah. There you go, so there's but four I, limestone. But I get a point because of it. Mm -hmm. because of Good it. call, and you were purple, so there's that. And you said you're building that one, so it's going to be two points. Okay, and placing it? Um, on the potatoes. Uh, on, uh, <laughs> on the bread. two, four, two, four. All right. Two yeah, and four. Yeah. And it doesn't matter orientation unless you plan on. Uh, let's leave it at, let's leave it at 12. I don't. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So you're getting two points, then one point per building. So that's going to be two for the building or for the foundation, two, then three, then four. Then uh, that's it, and then I get I get two gold because that's where it went. Uh, because it does match the color. Oh, oh, sorry, I get two two red because that's where I went, and then I get two gold because it does match the, the correct. Yeah, the color. yeah. So yes. a moment while I get you everything. There, two bread there, and done. And, uh, uh, And there we go. It's worth a point. And you built, right? Uh, I did. That was the you raw get, one. Did right? you have? Yeah, you have a you have a statue. Yes. There. Oh wow. Do I need? Do I need six faith? Will two population help me in any way, shape, or form? No. So I will take nope. three faith. Um, done. I okay. mean, the, the easy the easy answer is that you're going to get two or three points at the end of the game because I can't compete with uh, unless, of course, Shrey does not balance his scales. Otherwise, I'm uh, I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh, he just needs to be one away. That's all. Yep. And it doesn't hurt him by letting it's me. One it's, it's one less point. Oh, yeah, it's one point. Big deal. Yeah. It's one point. Okay. Uh, Shrey, did, um, I, don't, I did not give you your points, apparently. So that was two, 
three, four points. Sorry. Thank you. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, Rainer. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take Wait, this pure. It's my turn. It's your turn. My bad. Yep. I'm we not going to take anything. <laughs> um, I, I will hold on to that thought for, for later. I really think I'm going to do that. I would agree. Okay. Well, if you agree, then. Uh, so I need four bread. I have zero bread. So here you go, Andrew. That is a purity die. That will be Cinco de Bretto. Done. Okay. Now, Rainer. All right. Uh, so I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take that yellow one in the thought. Okay. Scenario. All right. So, so on the pure side of my scales, and I'm going to take six to seven. By the way, and I will get one scribe. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to take the first card in the red. Um, section so that blessing gain three population or three happiness yep apparently he's planning on spending something of it okay all right mm -hmm. there and we put a new blessing out hey when performing bastet or hathor you don't have to pay for it sure now okay and Final action of the game, Shrey. What you got? Um, I wish that I had one more happiness. That would be nice. Uh, what's my scales? I'm at um, 10 to 6. You are okay. 10 to 6 currently, yes. So I just get a point from that. And then... Oh, yeah, Rainer's going to crush at the end, for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear if a game has endgame points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't pull off as much as I need with my endgame points. It's All right, oh. I will take the... Um... Yeah, I so wanted to grab this so bad. It's. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't mind it. Actually, no, that's... That's uh, only so-so for me. All right, I'm going to... Uh, I, I think that's also the same symbol as the one that you took earlier. I it, don't think not, it is. It's not. It, it, it is. No, it is, I'm, it's the, the one that Shrey took. Oh, earlier. sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right, Gaurav. So I'm take, yeah, I'm going to take the gray five in raw. Okay. And it'll be tainted. And, and this... Okay, so a moment. Raw, so... <laughs> uh, I just can't fathom needing that many, so I'm going to grab two population. <laughs> you said the gray five, right? <laughs> yeah. On the tainted side. I will are, not change it in any way, but I will build that. So, Are you sure you don't want to change it like two? No, no, it's as good as a five. You're sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive. That sucks. All right, fine. All right. Actually, so, right, right now you're, you're one negative, so... Not so positive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So building the five. So uh, yeah. three points for that here. And you know what? Ha ha. Look at me being economical in actions. So three. Okay. And coming over. All right. So sides. I don't know if sides matter to you, but. Yeah. I don't. Well, and resources at this point don't matter. So maybe I'll put it in a... No. Uh, so... Hmm. So you are going to need three bread. This is taking all your bread. Oh, but you have three gold. Yeah, I, I've, I've got three bread, yeah. Hmm. Is there a good place to put this? Uh, okay, that, let's that see. That one bread if you, spot is not bad. Um, because that way yeah. you align with two colors. And right bread. here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so placing it here, so you're going to get a bread. I'll go ahead and do that right now. You got a bread, but it cost you uh, all your limestone, lim right? Yeah. yeah, all your limestone, I, so a moment. And I get a, I, I get a point for, uh, for using that. Uh, so you're at as a... three, four, 
Then, for every building, 5, 6, then for the sides, 7, 8 points total. Checks that out? sounds right. Yep. Okay. 8 to 137. Okay. And a pillar. Did you get the point for... I did. The, the tile itself? Oh, I did not. Thank you. Not for that one, which is... Because it matches color. There we go. And you, sir, are D-U-N done. Yes. All right. So now that that's done... Um, apparently the bottom left would have been worth more points potentially. Um, but this will be an additional point during scoring as well. Yeah. Fair point. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So my last statue, I'm obviously going to build, right? So we will go ahead. I don't think it matters which dot uh, it does. So I will grab the two purity. I am good. It's going to cost me three of my granite because minus one, right, as you guys know, there. But the question I now have is this. The two die would place it here, right, if I wanted to. However, I do get four points for every statue that I have associated with a god. But if I were to go ahead and put it right there, that would get me three points. Oh, it'd only get me three, wouldn't it? Damn. I thought it was going to get me six and not three. Nope, because I'm already winning this one. So I guess we keep it. And the only other thing is if I were to put it here in Rainer at a glance, how many points would that would it get me out there? Two points. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just put it there. That was a two. So that gets me in my first papyrus of the game. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. That is so oh, exciting. Hold on. That was that was the difference. Hold on one second. No, it wouldn't. It doesn't give me a building. I thought it gave me a building, but it doesn't. Never mind. I'll get my first papyrus, and I'm done. All right, Rainer, take it home. Uh, I'm going to take the black two from the Osiris area, then. All right. Uh, I'm going to treat this as a pure die. I'm going to place uh -huh. one of my buildings uh -huh. on... All right, so hold uh -huh. on. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I'm angry right now, so hold on. Uh, the black two, treating it as yep. a pure... Correct. So you're at... Positive one. All right. Yep. And, and I will place that uh, on the in the limestone district, so that will give me. Don't really care about the production of any of this, but I do get one limestone production. I get one limestone resource. It cost me one happiness, but hold on, I am using my blessing whoop, whoop. card. Yep. There turn it, is. it in and remaxing out. I should have figured out that he's going to do that, right? Uh. Yeah. Now, I I don't I don't, don't re-trigger once you've triggered those benefits on the populous track so the gold describe and the, right. the extract. You you don't re-trigger those. Okay, so the uh, so the extra die here you're not going to actually get. Oh right. man. Because I already received All right. it. But All right. So we then technically, right? Rotate. Although Indeed. There we go. Oh, too far. No. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And that triggers the end of the game. All right. So we, do we do so the map phase, right? Yes, we, we still balance our, our scales. All right. So, um, Shrey is at 10, dead on. I'm at 10 with all of mine. You're at negative or positive, positive one, one, which is yep. way third I place. I then it goes to tiebreaker. Seven's... Yeah, seven faith also. I don't think the goal is to have as much faith as you as your pip value, I think. <laughs> I was just covering my bases, all right? Yeah. So I am second. That's going to matter for points here. And maybe if somebody has an end game, just saying. All right. So. And now we proceed to scoring again. All right. So... All right, the four resource districts in Osiris. So here we go. Talking about down here. Yep. So whoever, uh, so three uncontested, 
Then, number of here, so that's going to be three for, three for Shrey, three for me. And then whoever is highest up, if tied, so in other words, so it's three for everybody, and then three more for me. There we go. Correct. All right. So one, two, three, and then six, and then three. That was, and by the way, this is what I'm going off of right now for everybody. So this is back here at the, uh, on the back of the uh, rule book. Okay. All right. Then the temple complex. All right. You're just quicker at this. Go for it. All right. So that will be one point for each of Shrey's buildings. And then he has a total of four victory points from the statues. The, the one that is in the uh, three, four spot is aligned with two of his buildings. So uh, that pillar is not statue, right? So, sorry, the pillar, yes. Is so three for the, the buildings. buildings. Here, I'll give him mm -hmm. three for the buildings. Done. Then this pillar is aligned is with two. that one and that one for two. This one is aligned with that one is three total. And then this one aligned with that is four more. Correct, for a total of seven. Got it. Uh, Edward, you get one victory point because you have one building and your statue is not aligned. Sorry, your pillar is not aligned. With one it. point. Orange. Uh, I get two victory points from my buildings and two victory points from my pillar. One, two, three, and four. Uh, then we will now score just below that uh, based on the final turn order of the game. Three points for Shrey and two points for for Edward. Move this out of the way. Three, one, two, three, and one, two, four. And then five. we go down onto the populist track. And that will be three victory points for Shrey and 15 victory points for me. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Um, that is for the triangles. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. So three for Shrey because he's over that. So one, two, three. Um, hi, guys. And then. 15, 3 times 5 for that, and here we go. Uh, 51. All right. And now we score our player boards. We have to pay upkeep for our buildings. All right, so I owe 4 uh, bread, so I have it, so I paid mine. Done. Shrey paying... owes 3. Yep. He's got it. And you owe 15. Two. You're short. I don't know yeah. what happened there. Or just two. Okay, done. <laughs> um, and uh, no one has built enough buildings to get any victory points from that. Um, however, Edward, you have uh, maxed out two of your production tracks for, for four, four victory points. points. So, hey, I w oh, no, wrong one. Four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then you get 21 victory points because you've built all of your statues. Well done. Thank you. So 1 and 20 puts it at 66, temporarily, in first place. And one victory point for Shrey for having built one statue. Right there and there. Um, and those are all of the regular endgame uh, victory points. Now we will score our endgame objectives. I'll go ahead and do mine first since it's already yep. trained in here. So here we go. So four points per statue built in honor of a god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that'd be 24. Hey, so that's four to 70. That puts me at 90. Then uh, I, I technically was in first place, but Shrey <laughs> cheated with his technology. So I only get five because I was in second place. So five and your leader in the clubhouse at 95. Not, not an embarrassing total. I'm nope. okay with that, all mm -hmm. things said. You know, I can live with that. All right, we'll move over to Shrey. Uh, you're kind of going to have to, so I'm glad. <laughs> fair, 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 fair point. I cannot argue with this logic. All right. Now, Shrey, three per technology. Three, six, nine, and 12. That was terrible. Let's try that again. Yeah. Three, six, nine, twelve. All right, twelve for Shrey. So that is uh, sixty-seven. Okay. Not and, so good. And then gain two victory points per pillar, and you have three of them. That is six, and per building over there, two points. So how many pieces of purple do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. That sounds like twelve. Twelve is one, two, and that'd be seventy-nine. 
Also, not an embarrassing score. Not at all. Nothing to be ashamed of, sir. <laughs> Before we get to this onslaught, onslaught that you're about to see, here we go. So we'll start with, uh, we'll just do them as that. Four, point, four points per triangle. Um, that's five, so there's 20. That's 71. Okay, still, we're not in last yet. Three points per scribe. There's 15 more. 86. And finally, he forgot his gold. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, he's got two gold. He can score another one. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say 20 points for that. Yep. That's going to be uh, 106. Ooh, wow. And there you have it. Rainer the Expert, 106, yours truly, somehow, mister, I don't have a plan, 95, and Shrey, nothing embarrassing at all with that, a 79. There we go. Oh, hold on, two more buildings for Shrey in the bottom left, what? Oh, no, in the temple complex yeah. only. Yeah, his, his, his hold on. His his end game scoring card here it doesn't count these. It's only in the temple scoring. I mean, I, I I'm all for it. I'd give it. Yeah, to I'd him, take but, the points. You know, but... Right. Yeah. But so there you go. Um, three hours and forty five minutes with a full teach and remote. I'll take that. Yeah. Well done, guys. Seriously, well done. Um, yeah, that worked really really well. I think so. Yeah, great job. Uh, so we're not going to do a round table since it's a sponsored playthrough, but I think you guys saw, um, you know, whether or not we enjoyed this or not. So hopefully, uh, we did a pretty good job of showing you guys Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun. I keep saying, wanting to say in the sun, Obelisk of the Sun. Again, designed by Daniel Tassini and David Terzi, published by Borden Dice, uh, Rainer. Um, tell folks how they can get a copy of this board and dice pre-order, all that stuff. So, uh, obviously if you have a local store nearby, uh, please go and support them. These are, they're available for pre-order right now. Now, if you, especially if you're living in an area where you may not have access to, uh, to a local store, particularly uh, outside of, uh, the United States and Canada and, and maybe big parts of Europe. Uh, you can go to boardanddice.com. We have both a U.S. and an international web store. Uh, and you get free shipping uh, when you order order the game. So free shipping worldwide. Uh, obviously, in the United States and Canada, you may have other options that may be, be better for you. So so please support your local stores. But otherwise, that's a way for you to, to get a copy as well. All right. There you go. And uh, Shrey, you got anything you want to chime in with? Uh, no, no. All right. Uh, good stream. So yeah, no, I think that went great. You guys did yeah. awesome, and I appreciate, again, thanks, uh, obviously, to everybody at Board & Dice, but also Rainer, um, not just a Board & Dice guy, but also a really good friend of mine. Uh, the, the teach was awesome. Uh, I really appreciate it. Also, uh, one of the things that Rainer is going to do for all of our patrons, he's going to make his teaching notes available. Um, so, yeah, if you support the show over on PledgeHC.com, uh, we're going to format them uh, and get them all out to you guys here sooner rather than later. Uh, so if that is something that entices you to support the show, certainly would appreciate it. Other than that, uh, yeah, when is this officially coming out also, Rainer? So uh, July 30th is the is the the date. It's, it's on the boat. It's just a matter of how long it will take to process it through the port. So the, it's it's obviously with, with the current situation and stuff, there is a chance that it will be a couple days late, but we're talking a few days rather than under um, a week, probably so. yeah, barring sure. anything. Yeah. So between now, within the next month, for sure. Right. Yep. Absolutely. So, there we go. All right. That's Takenu. Um, and you know what? Uh, let's put let's put Rainer on the spot since I know a lot of people are wanting to know um, what kind. Uh, two last things. One, uh, Tabletopia release date on this one. So Tabletopia availability will for sure be before the 24th because on the 24th we're going to do a Tabletopia demo day so you can you can actually sign up for it 
right now uh, on Tabletopia, and and you'll have a chance to to be able to play it there. I don't know if it's uh, no, it's not currently, hasn't currently been, been made publicly available, but it will be uh, in the next uh, couple of days. Okay. Um, and somebody asked Board Game Arena? So b- with Board Game Arena, uh, s- it will probably be the same thing as for uh, Teotihuacan, where this is, has been a community effort. So we, we obviously gave them the permission to, to put it up there, but it's been a community effort, which we're super happy with the implementation on there. So I would expect that to, to happen later as well. Uh, to, to have a shop on Board Game Arena, but right. I don't have a firm date. Uh, for that. And the last question, which hopefully will be fun putting you on the spot on, is uh, when am I getting a copy of the next one, and when do you want to stream it? Uh, so I should be getting the airship copies, I think, early or uh, no later than mid-September. Okay. So September. And okay, we can, so we can well, as soon as Rainer gets it, I'll have it yep. within a week after that, and then we're going to do Absolutely. very similar to what we did here today. Yep. Um, so there you go. So look for it late September, I guess. And when's the release date tentative? For so that, that one is October 22nd for Toronto and Suyu. All right, there you go. Awesome. All right. Thanks again to these guys. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to, for doing this. Thank you to everybody that watched live around the world. That was really cool to have a really engaged uh, community tonight. It was a lot of fun. It helps keep our energy up, but it's just fun, right? So it, it, and the back and forth is really, really good. So thanks to everybody there. If you're watching after the fact, hopefully you enjoyed this as well. Um, other than that, what is today? Today is, I have no idea, what is it? Wednesday, today it's tax Wednesday. day here in the States, but I will see you guys Friday for cocktail hour, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, cocktail of choice, uh, probably going to be a, uh, I think it's going to be a Moscow Mule, Moscow Buck, so hopefully you guys join me for that. I will see you all then, until then, and after then, and in forever, I'm Edward. I'm Shrey. And I am Rainer. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Be kind to one another. Wear your masks, please, social distance, because... I would like to be able to go out in public and do stuff. So help the world. Be kind to one another. Take care, everybody. That was totally closer than I thought it was going to be. I am so excited about that. Yeah, closer for you. Closer for you. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Great job, yeah. Rainer. Really great job on the teach, yeah, too, man. Excellent job. Good Thank job. you. All right. No, that, that, was, that was fun. And, and I'm happy that we were able to, to show.